Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ted, and looks like we're going to play another edition of 5th edition D&D. &D. This is my, my Griffin Gaff game. Let's uh, start over here, introduce yourself, we'll go around the table. Hi, I'm Jeremy, I'm playing Ander, Ander Hornwood, 8th level paladin of the H Oath of Ancients. I'm David, I'm playing Thanos, he's a human druid with an urchin background. Hey guys, Nordarkus David. I'll be playing Uthangar of Clan Black Iron. I am a a dwarven war wizard. Uh, dabbles in some fighting as well. My name is Mark. I'm playing Taurus T. Bars. Uh, he's a fighter, half elf. I mean, fighter elf. Uh, Elder Knight. All around badass. <laughs> Do <laughs> you have kobolds Sky. in the ceiling? Did I hear something like... Ah, uh, sorry, it's my kids. Uh, it's uh, worse. <laughs> I am Scott Garibay, and I am playing Asen Shardgale. Uh, he is a human wizard with a criminal background, and he apprenticed with the um, wiz the halfling wizard, Triz Trizgar the Bold. And I'm just Bart. I'm playing Alien Lightcrest, and who I am and what I do is yet to come. <laughs> None of your goddamn business. <laughs> <laughs> so Bart, uh, Bart is joining joining the game, replacing, at least for the time being, uh, Nate the Nerdark, who's una unable to be with us. So we have to, at some point in time, introduce this new character. So last session, we ended with you guys taking down uh, some kind of bizarre spellcaster who was the size of an ogre and yet looked uh, identical to Trisgar the Bold, his ha his halfling mentor. So He got supersized. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as you guys are aware, you believe you're in some kind of chaos realm and you have left the, 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 the your, your native home in and around the lands of Griffin Gaff. So we, we ended with the defeat of the wizard without you guys really taking in the the room or or whatnot. So what do you guys want to do? Detect magic. <clears throat> that's your that's your go-to, detecting magic? Can All you right. even detect magic? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Alright. Well as you look around the room, you, you notice that there are several bookshelves there are a couple dressers. There are a handful of paintings on the wall. There is a pedestal with a very large gem on the top of it. And as you as you look, you see that there are several books that glow. The dresser glows. The painting glows. Hmm. Take it I'll, I'll alert my friends. Give them more magical type and uh, lead them to the things that are glowing. Okay. All right, um, I will say, I wish to look at these glowing books. I believe it may be a trap, <laughs> since I've heard that other adventuring teams have these things called rogues. Since we don't, <laughs> um, I would like you guys to be ready to heal me or to revive me if I'm knocked unconscious. Are you guys ready? <laughs> we just all start giggling. It won't be the first time we've revived you from right, unconsciousness. So there are, the, of the two books that that uh, Ander has told you that are gl that, that glow. Uh, one is black with white lines carved into, well, the only thing you can see is the, is the spine, uh, but the, the, the white lines are carved throughout both covers as well. The second book is a dark red with bright blue swirled in a hypnotic pattern. It, 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 when, when, you, when, you, when you look and focus on it, you can't see anything moving, but if you let your eyes shift a little, you swear the, the blue is changing. I'm going to go for the um, black with white runes. Okay. So you, you grab it. There's no, no ill effects upon touching it. You, o you open it up and... Uh, a and I'll turn so that they can see, and I'm going to start you know, go paging ca through. A casual so flip see. through. You you can you can tell that this is a spell book. Nice. Uh, I will try to gain new spells for myself. <laughs> uh, I'll give you the the, the list of Sweet. spells. That... 
Gonna do that right now. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so what are the rest of you doing? Check out the book. I'm nice. going to nudge the paladin and be like, um, what schools of magic did you detect? What did the aura say? I was say? thinking about that, too, when it was happening. <laughs> well, the, the the glow is faint, and the the, the auras kind of swirl with, with multiple colors that lead you to believe that there are multiple schools of magic within either book. <laughs> well, what about the dresser and the... Oh, fantastic. Wow. Uh, I'll explore the, the dresser. The, I believe the, the dresser would glow with, uh, I think, blue is enchantment. Mm-hmm. If, I remember, if I remember the, the school card correctly. Character. I will mage yeah. hand it open. I do. I guess I'm not. Okay, okay. The, it's a, the dresser has one three one right drawers. Out. That's cool. Well, not Which exactly. one are you open? Uh, the Thank middle you. one. Thank you very much. Welcome. You open the open it, and you see a set of white fine clothes, an adventurer's pack, a heavy white cloak, and a, a sealed pack of rations. For oozing guard, does he need it? Uh, probably. Um, so I will. <clears throat> well, I have the paladin take a look yeah, since he's already check. got his detect magic. Oh, well, he already said it with all the chat. Yeah, no, none none of those items offer offer any. <coughs> Okay, and what was in there again? Uh, a, a set of fine white clothes, an adventurer's pack, a heavy white cloak, and a set of rations. All non-magical, right? All non-magical. All right, so we want to write that down? It's not magical. Do we want to? Hey, if you get hungry, you'll wish you had some rations. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fun and games we until you start. We can summon a beast and we can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to do that? Because I can just mage hand them open so you don't have to touch them. That's a good idea. So just get some trap springs. So the 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 last or the bottom drawer um, contains uh, what 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 appears to be uh, clothing and tools designed for someone of, of smaller stature. 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 Yes. No, they're Thank standing you. still. <laughs> um, they are, you know, small, small knives and swords, and they seem to be shaped um, as the, these these guys can tell you that they're they are designed for someone who is a trapper or skinner. Hmm. There is a cloak that seems to be made of red fur and has many um, tails that, that look like to be fox tails sewn in or attached to the back. Very interesting. So I'll pull every, start pulling everything out with um, <clears throat> with my mage hand, and I'll, I'll turn to um, Aislinn. Mm-hmm. Aislinn. Aislinn. <coughs> is uh, any of this look familiar to you? And I, is specifically, yeah, yeah. specifically like the, the the tools that are made for a smaller uh, person. Are these are any of these objects um, Trisgar's objects? And if any of them were, I would know because I apprenticed with him. And it took care of his house. Now he, so, he was he he was not really into you know, I'll say not, furring, trapping, and that stuff. I will say though, this would be his size. Am I right Correct. about that? Yeah, okay. absolutely. So I will say um, these do match the size of the items, but none of these were ever owned by him previously, and none of these match any of his chosen pursuits or occupation. Okay. I'm just looking looking interestingly because they are trapping. Animals. I'll look at the picture. The the picture is a single frame, but it is divided into three separate portraits. Uh, one, the furthest to the right, is of a handsome elf. He has long long golden uh, gold, golden hair with like lo- lines of silver in it. He is wearing a circlet with the, with a, a gem inset into the forehead. Is it the same color as the gem we've seen? No. Um, in the uh, in the middle frame, there is it, it's it's humanoid, but it seems to be like a humanoid composed of shadow. Like you can you can discern mm-hmm. those are eyes. That's a nose. That's a mouth. But it, it's, no body it, features. 
Well, I mean, you, you get it's a, it's a portrait, so it's like from from here here up, um, <coughs> and and it's it's clear that there's you know that it, that's a humanoid thing, but it's not a humanoid like you, you would normally like it's it, it's like since it's a portrait, it's not really like moving, so you won't see anything shifting, but like you you would imagine that it would it would move like a shadow does. The third and leftmost portrait seems to be some kind of rodent-like creature. It's got the, the somewhat pointed snout. It, it's it's furry. Uh, it's got you know the large large teeth, and it's a, a reddish brown in, in fur color. Same same as the cape. No. How is okay. the picture attached to the wall? It looks to be just. Uh, I mean, are you going? Like, yeah, like on a hook or anything. It looks like it's 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 fastened pr- pretty hard. It's not like you can. It's not like this where you can just lift it up. Uh-huh. Um, so okay. what are you doing to try and move it, or were you just checking? I'm just checking. Okay. Um, I don't touch the pictures to. Okay. What what solid. what did you do? Did you try and <laughs> try and lift? The, the the corner how, how 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 are you manipulating this picture oh i just tried to lift it to see if it like okay. if it was just on a hook or if it's you know can, bolted can you give this. me a perception check perception oh, okay which is just wisdom if uh, <coughs> yeah i got none of that yeah he'll notice yet okay so thank you scott thank you you will. So you go over and you you know you 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 lift it. Um, does anyone anyone of the other four of you have a decent passive? I have plus six in perception. Thirteen. Right, so, and he's always watching my back. <laughs> All right. So so when he goes over and he lifts the corner of the frame, you swear that the three uh, faces turn and look at Mark. That's creepy. Oh no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Worst adventure ever. <laughs> so but you, smartest. <laughs> doesn't actually die. sounds familiar. But. So you, you 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 lift the corner, and the uh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't move. move. So which which one were you going to to poke at? Since you clearly didn't see them. Uh, I guess if I'm facing it, the right corner. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna poke. The, uh, the the elf the yeah the elf the 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 shadow person or the rodent the elf um, right, so you, he's, the elf is on the right so you you go to you go to poke it pokes you and poke. like <laughs> it puts up its hand wow. so you go like that's that. creepy oh snap um do I see this or am I busy with the spell I believe you 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 would probably yeah. be looking at the ball so right. I I move my finger like I'm gonna poke somewhere else is it hand follow the the hand kind of like stays up and the picture recedes a little bit like try talking to him um call him a nerd <laughs> i don't want to come up the picture and kick my ass <laughs> 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 um i'm like can you speak can you communicate with me Pay closer i'm not gonna hurt you so it, it puts down its hand and it it says something but you don't hear anything. Uh, like, <coughs> <coughs> man, if he can move, I don't you know what You took alert, not observing, right? What? No, none of you guys have observing, right? That are paying attention? No. No. I don't know. Right. Observing allows you to read lips. So. Oh, yeah, I don't think I have that. Um, Let me see. Is I that a skill or a feat? Though. It's a feat. No, no, I did no, take no, alert. No, nobody just take though. a look Observe it. <laughs> I got alert though. I got, I got a feeding clueless. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I hold up uh, a piece of parchment, uh-huh. and I go, I can't hear you. Write it out. That's an inspired idea. <laughs> I, I, I'll go with that. <laughs> speaking, speaking of inspiration, does anybody have things? I have one. I have one. Thank you. I actually have two, spot. so... Now I got two. I already have two. Can I still get another? Absolutely. 
You, you get inspiration. You get inspiration. I was born inspired. You, you start off with inspiration. I mean, I, I got you. Yeah. Those two of you. That's your, those two of you. Man, I really well. thought that comment uh, worked. And I got mine over there. Oh, I write them on my thing. Uh, just whatever. So he, he holds up his hand. However you want to interpret that. Or his hands. Maybe he doesn't know how to write. What's writing? Grab him and pull him out. Um, <laughs> hand goes in. I, Good hand. <laughs> I write on the paper. Are you trapped? <clears throat> uh... Can I reach in and pull you out? Try it. So I reach. Oh, make a strength check. Ooh. Now you're really in the picture. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> it pulls him in too. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Twenty. All right. So you take a you take a you take a breath. <coughs> you reach in and you feel that there is there is something there resisting, but you don't feel like. The edge of the painting, uh-huh. you feel like there's some force that you can't see. Saran wrap. <laughs> and you push through, and you eventually break in, and the, the the figure that's in there grasps your 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 hand. That's goofy. And you yank this creature out. So, what do you do? <laughs> First, I'm shocked. <laughs> shocked, you listen to like <laughs> <laughs> like, <coughs> he's. I assume he's on his feet. Um, and not. I didn't throw him to the floor, did I? No, no. Okay. Um, I ask him first. What's his name? Bart. <laughs> so, I'm gonna cause my circlet to emit a bright light. Mm-hmm. It's a light cantrip. And who are you? Do you serve the light? Um, I'm T. Varus. If I hear that, I serve T. Varus. You serve yes. Tivaris? <laughs> yes, That'd I do. Me. Yes, who are you? Andrew Hornwood, of the Oath of Ancients. Ancients? I don't know if I have any <coughs> religious leanings with this guy. So this guy. How did you get into the painting? Yeah. I don't know. I just was. Where am I? We don't know. <laughs> <coughs> we are uh, between worlds right now in the Chaos Realm. The chaos realm. Meanwhile, the rest of the people in the picture are going. <laughs> <laughs> I am not pulling out the rat. Thing. <laughs> uh, I'm not from this realm. Are these are these friends of yours? And I I point to the other paintings. Most certainly not. Well, you you know that. Yeah. yeah. You you don't you don't know them, but you know <coughs> that being trapped is not. Not not a pleasant ex- wasn't a, yes. a pleasant experience for yourself. Do do I know anything about the the other two? Absolutely nothing. Are they moving as well? Yes. Are they banging on them? I'm assuming <laughs> I'm assuming they're not friendly. So, something to that extent. I mean, they they're they look like they, the criminals in the Phantom Zone. <laughs> they're, they're they're clearly uh, you know shocked that that this transpired and they they only have so much uh, perception but they saw him come out so and and he's the only he's and the, now we have a rat thing and a shadow guy yes i do not know who they are what they are or where they came from either but i did see that you found my belongings which are the cloak of uh-huh. course so i'm going to go and I'm gonna go take the cloak and so the the, the things the things on. in the in the in the middle <laughs> drawer, the, the the cloak, the adventurer's pack, the white clothes, and the and the rations is what he is heading towards. Okay. okay. So I don't get any sense of danger from these guys, right? So that, that's up to you. I don't know. I think we look plenty dangerous. <laughs> I look dangerous. Yeah. How long have they been in this room? Um. Well, the percept time is not really a, a thing that you were able to properly experience within within the painting. You did see them fight your fight your your captor. Um, okay, that's where I was going. With. So I've seen them fight my captor. I knew it was my captor. I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna put on my cloak. Rush, was he naked? He was not naked. I was not naked. I just wasn't fully clothed. He had underwear on. I will introduce Ace to him and just welcome him. Cool. 
Ah, welcome. I am Asen Shardgale. This is my apprentice, Obsid Stranden. Uh, he's an Earth Genazi wizard who is all who, with a gladiator background. And uh, first, I um, thought he was talking about you. It is, <laughs> it is uh, excellent that you've been like, able to escape from the pace. <laughs> I would like to know where I am, but I suppose I'll find that out. <coughs> from where do you hail? That's complicated. I believe we are in the chaos, the realm of chaos. So this is not where I started my travels. Or my my training. Sense. What are you training in? Uh, you do not detect. Oh, evil. I, I am He's here to undead. bring light to undead. to the realms. I am I am here to conquer the darkness. So are you uh, a priest? I am not a priest. Claire. To shake my head. Druid, Paladin. No, that's me. So what are you? What are you actually doing here? Um, um, Blundering, slaying dragons, obviously. <clears throat> no, the dragon has a different names. Uh, do I sense any undead or evil in the area? Yeah. True. No. We got sucked in here. So you <laughs> actually wait, wait. So you did he just been... cast a spell? Not exactly. Okay. So he did a magical effect. Uh, yeah. Does he? They they all have. They have chromatic or verbal. They have somat. What are there? There's verbal. So, so, somatic, verbal, or material. Does he use any of those? I, I don't. What, what were you? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh. So, um, this was is the class feature, or was it's it a detect evil? Yeah, the the evil. We talked about the uh, how to describe it. Was it through the item, or was it a spell? It was through the item. Yeah, then that was no. Out. Okay, yes, there wouldn't be anything. It was yeah. just that sense that uh -huh. I know that there's undead around. Right. You said so, be perception yeah. so check to see whether you don't. Not, there's no verbal or somatic. Uh, yeah. yeah, I got you. This would be perception check to see whether or not he's telling the truth, or as far as what? Just like just his overall presence and be insight. What's that? Would be insight. Okay, let me see what we got here. We uh, we came seeking refuge from a storm. And you ended up here. And we ended up here, yes. And this you, place is... You had a similar situation. So that is that is much the same way that I ended up here. I was... I was 14. out adventuring, training. training. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and I've spent some time in this painting, but I'm not sure how much. <sighs> I'm going to go uh, take one of the paintings off the walls, one of the other ones. <coughs> uh, the, the one with the rat. Okay, the shadow guy's kind of shifting. It, it's 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 one painting. That has oh, it's three, one three components. Three, three sections. Uh, <coughs> Tar, um, Tar. I think I'm gonna need a hand with this, right? So Wait. I'm gonna try. Are you gonna pull it right out? What? No, no. All right. I'm gonna try something. We're still sitting I'm gonna try and pull the, the whole thing off the wall. Okay. Um, and get him on the other side because it sounds like it's really big. Mm -hmm. uh, are we able to take it off the wall? Are you using any tools or just using your hands? I will use my hands, but if it seems like fastened to the wall somehow, I will mm -hmm. use my axe and scrape it off. Okay, there, there is a pile of miscellaneous junk that you think you might see like a crowbar or something in. Uh, yeah, that crowbar is not nearly as strong as my axe. Okay. <laughs> so I'm using that to scrape it off the wall. Okay, uh, then give me a strength check with advantage. All right. Um... Can I use athletics if I have it? Sure, I'll give you that. All right. That is a 17. So you <coughs> get this thing off the wall. Okay, so we pry it off. So I'm going to hold the corners and flip it so it's facing down and have him do the other side. See if we can shake them out. <laughs> do we want these things out? I to I'm totally down with this. Well, uh, I we, like yeah, it. Let's yeah. go. Not to be evil, we we'll just kill Let's him. Let's go. <laughs> Think of the XP. <laughs> exactly. All right. Exactly. Um, just, give, just give me a D twenty roll. That is an eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Only you hear jostling sounds with you know a handful of thuds. I, I literally start chuckling to myself a little bit and then give it a couple more shakes and go, I don't think this is working and set it back down. Like, just reach in and pull them up. <sighs> Agreed. Alright. Maybe we paying you, attention. Uh, so, <laughs> what is your reaction to this? Uh, this is my reaction to that. <laughs> Why are you doing that? What are you doing? Why are... I need to find a way out of here. So, there's a door, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go 
thank you very much for your assistance, but I think our time might be better well spent getting out of this place. Meanwhile, Don't you want to uh, free your fellow prisoners? No. I don't know who they are or where they came from. I don't Why particularly like the look of him. Who? Of me? The guy in the middle. Oh. I was say, you talking Dave? No, no, no. The guy <laughs> in the middle of the picture. The, the shadow, shadow guy. guy. <coughs> yes. Well, we've met well, a lot of different people along our travels. So, Ilian. Uh, uh, just because well, he's a black shadow, you think he's bad? So, <laughs> <laughs> I've never met a whole... Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> uh, let, let me let me ease you, let me assuage your your worries. We are adventurers. I'm not sure of what realm you're from, but in this realm, well, what exactly you were training in? Right in this realm, adventurers do not fear opponents. Oh, this they is not a matter of fear. I assure you, this is a matter of my life's work. My my reason for being is to bring light to the realms, and I see no benefit in freeing these two shadow creatures. Well, a shadow creature needs light. And he's perfectly wrapped up where he is, so he can bring no harm anywhere. So you believe that these these are evil creatures, that these beings deserve to be imprisoned? No, I <laughs> just don't believe that freeing them serves my particular end. We do know where there's a church of light. I'm not interested in churches. You said you serve the light. I do mm, serve the church light. of the light. He's like, my character, he serves a... He's spiritual, but not religious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, by all means, continue. If you'd like me to stay and watch, I will certainly still, be humored. You can you can do as you wish, but yeah. there is safety in numbers. Indeed. Carry on. And uh, some of us are even considered heroes of the town. So <laughs> that's true. As soon as I meet one, I will let you know. Actually, all of us. I didn't introduce to myself to the Lord. <laughs> uh, you might have to go back into painting. Who's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Scott's character? Uzengar, would you like me to in? pull out the shadow creature and you will attack it when it's pulled out, or would you like? Uh, that we'll we'll, we'll lean it back. The, the, we'll lean it back up against the the painting against the wall, and I'll get my my axe ready. I'll give it a couple test swings, right, I'm going and I got my shield He's ready. He's just ready in case. Le oh, let's talk to him first before we kill him. Okay. <laughs> Can't hear him. Okay. Yeah, We're gonna out. pull him out. Oh, okay. I'm pulling out the rolls. shadow creature. Yeah, the strength check. All right. Yeah. yeah. Rolls a two. All right. Um, Get sucked into pay this, this is the one. This is the guy who, uh, you know, di disarmed the the thug, thug. killed uh, killed him with his own dagger. <laughs> I have a strength of ten. Well, you don't so need I'm to use need. inspiration until after you roll. Oh, really? Because like, what if yeah. you drop a twenty? Yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's, that's cool. definitely true. That. You might have a. Like that! <laughs> yeah. So I roll so, the result in you, you reach in. You just finished today. And again, you you feel that that same presence that uh, Taurus did, and you you feel your hand struggling against something that you can't see. You're very familiar with with magic, and you know that this is some some kind of magical barrier that you are you are tearing your way through. through. And again, as your hand crosses through into you know, uh, an unknown place. A you know, the, the 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 shadowy hand reaches up and grasps yours, and you give a mighty heave, and you you, you pull out pull out this creature. Uh, as, as I described, he, everything about him seems dark, and the the shadows or the sorry the light around him seems to to dim. It uh, doesn't affect anything of what you guys do, but it just seems that it light just plays differently with, with his skin. Everything would be proportioned uh, or you know properly shaped. Like you can see muscle definition, yeah. but it's in shades of, of black and, and and dark grays on him, and it's it's hard to get the finite details. He's completely bald. There's nothing that, that has any kind of hair. And ironically, when the when you see the light hitting him, there is no shadow behind him. Wow. I'll say, creature of darkness, I, one of the heroes of Griffin Gaff, um, welcome you. Uh, I have freed you from the painting you were trapped in. He, he's, he speaks in a in a, a raspy whisper. Uh, you get the sense that your your bold words are almost almost painful on his uh, his ears. Mm. You have chosen unword unwise words. I am not a creature of darkness, but of shadow. 
I stand corrected. This is Elian, a servant of the light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so obviously watching this, I'm going to blast him basically with the brightest light I can I can get to shine on him. And in celestial ask him Where are you where are you where have you come from? What shadow have you arisen from? He covers his eyes and Oh, that was rather rude. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to kind of agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he clearly has his eyes closed and has got his his hand covering the uh, his, his, his face as clearly what you have done is, is, Why is doing painful. Do you got to tell him what you do before you roll? 16. For, for what? <laughs> yeah. Hit him. Why? Oh. <laughs> well, he's blinded. <laughs> oh, you're hitting the, the shadow creature? Yeah. <laughs> he, didn't even do, he didn't even do anything. Well, you people oh, are lighter. Man. Just oh, eat I didn't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> you opened the door for it, man. No, I didn't. <laughs> you totally shined the light on him and be like, I'll blind him, you hit him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I am cleansing <laughs> the shadow and darkness. I was not inviting an attack. <laughs> Do you really want to, to just attack him for no reason? No, I'll wait to see what happens. The, it, it's an unarmed man <laughs> he's, he's that's just an made, made of a different different skin color. Yeah, we don't know this guy. He could be evil. I know he's not undead. So, so I ask you, sir, where are you from? I am from the place of shadow. Where are you from? And again, you see that his his eyes are, are closed. And uh, yeah, he's the, oriented the, on you, and, and you know, without an insight roll, he can he can see the light is emanating from you. So mm -hmm. he's clearly respecting the fact that you're trying to have a conversation with him, but it is painful for him to actually. I'm going to go over to the dresser and pull the the top drawer, the one we uh -huh. didn't open out, and uh, uh, go bring it to this guy and present it. The, the contents to him because right. I so believe they're going to be his. Inside is a short sword made of a entirely black steel. Uh, it, it it again seems to be wrapped in some kind of shadow. There's also a suit of black leather armor <laughs> that uh, again the light around it dims, so Ooh. it's hard to, hard to see the detail. Uh, and there are other. Is there a cloak in there? There is not. Wait, was that magical armor? Do I uh, see magic? No. no. Uh, that's not magical armor? Correct. Okay. Neither says it's got one fellow on the other side of the cup. And there are other wherever he's from, uh, odds and tools that you're, you're not familiar with. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll present him with that stuff and, uh, you know, stand like between him and. And the the other newcomer to kind of like shade, give, offer some kind of shading from the light, obscure it a bit. Thank you, sir. That is uh, just and just and kind. My name is Neck. Neck. Well, Neck. I'm Uthangar. And uh, with that, I'll with that I'll uh, you know, toss my axe so props up against the wall and offer him my hand. So he he shakes it. Um, my chance. It, it's. It's a you know you you, ex you experience the same same effect, but in the actual rush of trying to free him, you didn't fully fully acknowledge all all of the senses. His hand is a is a little little cold, and it seems like where you think his hand is, it's actually a little bit further in, mm. as if like there's some other layer around him. But he he dons his his armor and his. Uh, you know, belt with with tools and the sheath for his sword with, uh, you know, casual uh, casual use. He, he's as, as if he's done it many times. Well, Neck, uh, well met. Do you know Do you know the other prisoner? I do not. I. Uh, I well, I these was, wee things have got to be his. I was hu hunting a foe, and a storm set set upon me. I was unable to gather shelter. When I came to this place, there was a gigantic tower I investigated, and a mighty mage took me prisoner before I 
before I was able to either get away or deal with him, I was locked in that painting. Well, you know, I once heard the world is a dangerous place and you shouldn't go alone. Well, unfortunately, where I come from, alone is the standard. Huh. This foe you were tracking, what of them? I, uh... I was... I was on a quest, a test of my prowess, however you want to look at it. I was... I was sent to track him down and, and bring him in. Was he a criminal? Uh, I'm not familiar with that word. A lawbreaker. A bad guy. It could be construed as that way. Mm. So I'll pull back on the light a little bit and give him a bit of a reprieve, but I'll leave it kind of glowing. And I'd ask him, do you know if he was brought into this room with you? To my knowledge, he was not. Hmm. Where is it you hail from? The realm of shadow, correct? Clearly the realm of shadows, much as I come from the realm of light. Is there Does he still look like an elf? Yeah. Is yeah. there another name like for the realm of shadow? Oh. You mean look like I'm an elf now? <clears throat> Good answer. Out of, out of character. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, what about the third guy? We, uh, Uthengar and Taris, all, we are trapped here in this chaos realm. Um, we have come here to, uh, we are searching for my master, Trisgar the Bold. But at this point, I think we are trying to escape this place. If you wish to advent adventure with us, perhaps together we can accomplish what one of us may not have been able to. Ilian, we extend this invitation to you as well. I will. I will stay with with you as <clears throat> as long as need be. But as soon as as soon as I find my way home, I will. I will depart. I believe you're in luck. Uh, it is my experience that in our world, the veil, between, the veil between realms is rather thin. Perhaps you will be able to find your way home. Uh, I don't, I don't know much about the realm of chaos or from whence you all hail. But hopefully, so, hopefully, what uh, you say is true. What's your realm like? I mean, your home. I mean, think it's <clears> dark. <throat> well, yeah, dark, obviously. But yes, tell us is, is it? I mean. Here, in the darkness, people tend to do bad things. So... And that is why I'm here. Anywho. Well, that sounds very one-sided. What, what you consider the light here, we find painful. And... You avoid it. Yes. And people in it tend to do bad things. I don't think so. Okay. Your, your, your it's from the Shadowfell, not Bizarro World. <laughs> yeah. As my little understanding of, of different planes, you have the, the, the orb that, that brings the light and the night which brings the darkness, yes? Yeah. Well, imagine a place that the the brightest it gets is with what what you would call moonlight. Wow. And, and the, the shades that of, seems wretched. The shades of darkness in that that is the light that exists in our world. That is that is how we see. And we just see. Pray tell me my new friends that is not how this realm or how your realm works. It is exactly right. like that, man. You're, <laughs> you're gonna have such a hard time when we get out of this place. <laughs> I actually find this kind of funny, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell him the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the rat? Do we pull out the rat? Uh, do you think it has, Might as well. Do I you mean, think it has fleas? Uh, if I get fleas I in my beard, I'll be so I, upset. I think we have been fortunate to find Ilium and to find Neck. I believe we Beast should boy. free the free the. Well, need to he's pull right. The rat. It it right. would be most wise if you were to pull the rodent free. Turn into a saber toothed tiger. 
I mean, so I've got pull out. an eight right, strength, so you, but you reach in I heard and you just, turn into creatures. just as uh, right. just as these two felt a barrier that was invisible, that, you reach in and you struggle through that invisible invisible wall. You you reach in a, a, a small hand, much smaller than yours, reaches up and it tries to grasp a full hand. And there's just your your hand is just just too big with your your mailed gauntlets. So he grabs hold of a couple fingers, and you you pull them through. Now on the portraits, the three individuals appear the same size. The creature that comes out is more more along the side the size of of Linden and those those of his ilk. No, he it, is he is barely barely right three feet tall, if that. I have a hunch of the tools. The halfling gear. Um, so I'm gonna now that the all of them are out, I'm just gonna do detect detect evil. Not unless any of these guys are evil. <laughs> so I'm gonna befriend him. I'm gonna talk to him. Wait, I did you detect these... that on? Did you throw that on me? That's a to- that is a totally valid. Like, when he detects evil, does he detect evil? Like, is neck evil? Yeah. Okay. So I f- I'll take him over to the the drawer that I opened. Uh-huh. Are, these, are these things yours? Does he understand? He 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 understands you, and it looks like he's. He's cycling through something, in, 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 like some kind of thought pattern in, in his head, and he he chitters something, and, and then re- res- responds a, a, a moment later. Yes, those are mine. So I let him have them. So he he begins, you know, gr- grabbing up the the, the couple things. Uh, I see the. The bow, the blades, and he, he makes sure that the, the, the cloak is, is is put on. You think you can figure tight. out how so this picture like works? Else I'll, I'll try to find it's a good question. Where he's, where he's I can try. Him, where but you come, come why? From? Do we want to put anyone in it? Well, when I go out on Bounty Hunt, I come from the Gladed nice Woodlands. To keep a, that's Gladed brilliant. Woodlands. Oh, yes. Gladed Woodlands. Absolutely. This is what he well, called well, well, as soon as he's ready. That is, that is where I'm from. <clears throat> My guess would be another Rome. Like the others. I guess you got a trap. Yes. I guess you got trapped in here by an evil wizard. Storm Tower painting. Mm. I've heard this story before. As with your other two compatriots that came out of that painting, we'll try to get you out of here. Not so sure compatriots is the right word. Yeah, he's, well, he's, he's we don't. Got, we don't exactly know each other. He's, he's got a point. Oh. Um, However, we discussed rocket, rocket, rocket. the business of getting out of this tower. I suggest we be it? about it. Cool. Yeah, I, think, I think it is. It's rocket. Uh, I said, is your name Rocky? <laughs> my, my name is Turl. Your name Turl? is Turl. Turl. T R U T U R L N. What are you? Turl. Uh, what are you? I call you T. <laughs> what do you mean? Mr. Where are you? T. Human. <laughs> I mean, we can give him a dog. It'll be epic. <laughs> So at this point, I am going to turn around and start heading for the Before door. The, we're Let's going to see. check the rest of the magical that we see that we've seen. The the door. It was just the book. What was it? It was just the books and the. There was the the book, the second book, the the dresser glue, but none of the items within it did. Uh, as I said, that there was a large pile of miscellaneous things just tossed into the corner. Mm-hmm. It seems like it's been there a while. You can see that it's like things have just been tossed on top of stuff on top of stuff. So, the, as in, the, you, you would guess like the lower levels clearly have layers of dust on them, and then there is a like a gem the size of someone's head on a on a pedestal. Gotta check that out. There's also a chaos book, right? <coughs> yes, there was a, there was a second book. Yeah, I'll check out the gem. So uh, check out the book. The, the the book is uh, red, swirled with a hypnotic blue pattern, and when you don't focus on it, it, it appears that the that the, the blue on it is moving. the The gem looks to be an amazingly cut diamond, and it's freaking huge. Uh, we got a bag. Of course. It, well, actually, we will have to carry it because this is a low magic area. We don't have haversacks, right? Yes. Right. Dave, Dave has got a, a tensor's floating disc that's hauling a pile of gold and uh, uh, dragon scales. <laughs> Are you taking the diamond in the pedestal or just the diamond? Just the diamond. Just the diamond. Just the diamond. The diamond. The pedestal. Yeah. 
Okay. We need furniture for. And I put that painting. We haven't uh, done anything with yet. And okay. And uh, the book. <clears throat> Peyton goes. Uh, <laughs> you, you look through, and there's not much. Like there's, you don't see words or anything that you understand. Uh, what languages do you speak? Common, Elven, Sylvan. Okay. You don't. That, that's actually a good question. I want to take go grab the crowbar, mm-hmm. and I want to take it and see if I can put it in the painting. You want to take the crowbar and put it oh, in the painting? Yeah. Yeah. Before. <laughs> So before we get, uh, actually, when I see him do that, I'll say Uthengar. Taris has asked me, as uh, the arcane, as the master of arcane among us, uh, to investigate. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, no, I can't say that. You're levels behind me. All right. Uh, <laughs> it's too much time banging in metal. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna say um, he's asked me to investigate because we, he had an idea. If we can put people into the picture, he could use it on his bounty hunting. I agree. Yeah. Does the crowbar fit in it? <laughs> Make a strength check. Uh, okay. Don't tear it. Oh, uh, that is a that is a uh, ten. Right okay, out so the you, bat. You try, and okay. you were you were met with uh, significant uh, force on, on this barrier. Huh. There's got to be an easier way to use this thing. I start, you know, I start like. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm like, hmm. I sit down with it in front of me, and. Uh, you know, I, I reach into my pack and I pull out a pearl, and uh, you know, I pull yeah, you my go, book you go, out. You go through the process, and you know that there are there are words that, are, that, that can be done, and the, the the item asks you asks you questions. Do you do you, do you wish to to like it's it's like you don't hear a voice like uh-huh. you you interact with it, and you get the the sense that it's saying. <laughs> Do you, do you wish to reset the command words? Do you wish to know the command words? I, yeah, actually, I, I, I reset the command words. Okay. To open says me, and, and close says me in Dwarvish. Okay. And uh, so, so I use the command word, and I start shoving everything into the painting again. <laughs> The other paintings are the same. There are things moving. moving That's a large size painting. painting. I know. Uh, you, you're you're able to get you know the stuff in without any, any kind of uh, problem. I'll say, Taris. It appears that Uthagar has done what I could not. <laughs> my hat's off to you, sir. Where I displayed words, you have displayed action. Yeah, the well paintings done. do the same thing. They move. Well, no, only, only the one. Did who who wanted to look? Him? Jeremy was unable to, to look read, at it. read the book. You can't read the book. Uh, well, maybe. Is it in Druidic? Don't worry, I'll take the stuff out later, but I figure we can just put everything in the painting for now. Yeah, it works that around. I said I'm going to put the, <coughs> just the painting three, on top of the back in the painting. floating disc. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> we'll release you when we're free. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing with the dresser? Put it in the painting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Close it, open it again. Anything different? <laughs> How big is the painting? Does a black hole rip itself into the fa- through, uh, throughout, into the fabric of reality? No. So when you put a bag well, of holding, a bag of holding. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it, it on two a by two or three by three? It's like two foot by like four foot. Two by four. Got it. Okay. Can I read it? Can you read those? What do you speak, Draconic? Draconic. Goblin. What about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what Damn. about my pet? Comprehend language. Well, you, don't you speak your Uh You do now. Typically referred to as that. I'll come, I'll come over and look over their shoulder at the book. Oh, wait, are you saying draconic is it? Well, yes. I can read. Yeah. Like if if you like, it's it's a it's still language, but that that is universally considered what what magic is written in. So. Yeah. Then I definitely read it uh, okay. as I can read. It. But it's a, it's a, it's another spell book. <laughs> now, can you use any of these? Can you use any of these? No, he um, knows spells. He doesn't. Yeah, he yeah. Can. I have Witch Bolt anyway. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. But, next level. All right. That's a wizard. Okay. Okay. Wow. Blade Singer. Blade Singer. Yo, good decks. 16. So, gentlemen. So we be about it. So have you had enough fun with your painting? I believe we have. Oh, I thought um, you left already. Do you wish to take the door, or, or do you wish to follow? 
Well, so are you are you doing any, anything with the the junk piles? Throw it in okay. there. All right. <laughs> <coughs> I was in this room with an turned. So what we're saying is, does the light leave or does the light follow? Uh, oh, the light's going to the magic door. <laughs> <laughs> we will follow Ilya. So, so, so whoever wants to oh, hand it have around. Pile of junk. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'm looking for a pile of junk. Is oh, this is a pile of junk. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mundane, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm having way too much fun just putting things in the painting. <laughs> right, so there, there are other books on the shelves. Are you taking everything as well? goes? Oh. Everything that will fit in the painting <laughs> goes. <laughs> we can use it. In our you guys are gonna catch me like alongside the road, road, just plopping rocks in there and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> it's an addiction. <laughs> uh, so I have a couple things with you. Have a minute. Absolutely. All right. Um, I I'm going to speak to um, first Nick <gasps> and then Turn as much as possible to see if I can find out the names of their realms uh, or or people within <laughs> their realms. And then mm. also on downtime, we're not there yet, but Asen is intending to do research on the spell of True Strike okay. so that he can grant it to someone else. What? Okay, so you want, do you know True Strike? Yes. Okay, so you want to research the, the right. spell to be able to give that ability to somebody Correct. else. Correct. Okay. Uh, then we'll take some time. Yeah, absolutely. I take Do the one of the sets of manacles I like that one. out and a bag of caltrops and put the rest in the painting. Oh, okay. you do them. Uh, I'd like to see that when you're done. Wait, actually, I'll take it last. You guys, anyone else see, want to see the junk pile? I'll take it when you guys are done. For this, for this, is that like the second one? Like, are those like animals that are like in the thing or? No. What was it then? You you don't know. They're creatures you've never heard of before. Okay. Show me. What was it? What's the first word? Planer. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> well, there's the root of the problem. <laughs> Does that say planter or planner? Planer. Planer. So planer means a plane. Like uh, there's actually, I'll show you exactly. Okay. Going in, there, in there's a book that's a planer beast. Let's put in all of us. Yeah. I'm going to show them the plane. Platinum will go into a painting. So we I started reading models. the description of it and I saw animals. I was Do you like, have a mop with you? What's that? Do you have a mop with you? A mop? Manual of planes? Couch no, trips? it's oh, okay. in the DMG. Oh, okay. Yeah. There is no manual of planes. <coughs> you have ha no. There's actually <laughs> several <laughs> manuals yeah. of planes. I mean, like an from an older edition. Right now, no. <laughs> Last time we played this game, whatever I had in my hand was so, a game, so. The <laughs> You know, Neck ne tells you, you know, he doesn't know anything other than, you know, the, the realm of shadow. Okay. That, that's all he knows. And uh, Turlm tells you that he is from the Gladed Woodlands. Ooh. What woodlands? Gladed. Gladed. Is salt still considered um, well, like you would see in a movie of things being buried? Damn salt. 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 That's salt. him. Would, For what? Would clerics know that as something that Eagle doesn't like. No, I don't think so. It's, it's generally used as salt meat to preserve it. There's a dragon chest, so <laughs> thank you. Ten yards of silk. Block of What's your name again? Uh, Ilian. Light crest. Ilian, yeah, like E E L. Ilian. Caltrips. Oh, E L I A. E L I A. I guess I'll take the caltrips. I couldn't make it work right on paper with an I. Ilian light crest? Light crest, yes. Caltrips you can only use. Let's, let's go to throw it in a plain painter. There's a lot of stuff that can be used by everybody. Block. So is there anything in this room that hasn't been plundered so or tossed into a painting? Uh, other than the, the, the actual bookshelves yeah. and the... Uh, the Which are built into the wall. And, <laughs> and the actual pedestal that this fantastic diamond was sitting on. Do you want to take the other stuff? So I know you like putting stuff yeah. into the... Oh yeah, the pedestal's going there. Are you forgetting about the pedestal? <laughs> okay, the pedestal's going there. What about, the, what about the, the table that My you wanted to, uh, uh, you know, thunder wave into the guy? You gonna take right that there. too? Nah, that can stay. <laughs> He's gonna thunder wave that one into the wall. <laughs> Here you go, David. Uh, that, Thank you. Those are the planes. Oh, fancy. So, we added some more. so how big is the room again? 
pretty massive. It's like oh, it's like a sixty by eighty or something like that. Pretty big. Okay, that's pretty. So big. do I get do I get an idea that the realm of shadows and that the the gladed woodlands are a plane on the same level as those other planes? Like they are a distinct plane? You're not really certain. Like they 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 don't have these guys aren't planar travelers. Um, you know, you're actually you know kind of impressed that uh, neck was neck was able to. Um, I got you. Give, okay. give the amount of information about the sun when there wasn't something like that where he's from. I think okay. they're the two from the ones right next to the material plane. Yeah, those are one cool. thing I probably would have done. Because the we Feywild and then the shadow thing. Hmm? Oh, he could one be. One thing I probably would have done if we were in a town. It would make That's sense, right? Because yeah. they're closest to the one that we were in. Okay. And then all three came okay. together. It would make sense. Give it the doctor calls from your GP and you can add them. Would I have in my spell book this? What would that cost? What's your ranks in Arcana? Uh, I am what's 8th your, level. What's, what's your what's your overall check? Intelligence. Uh, hold on. I don't understand the term overall check. Your what bonus. You, what's, what's your bonus to, to Arcana? Um, Zippo. No, he's 8th level. No, so no, no, I meant me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, two. So you're saying, what is my skill, Arcana? Yeah, like, well, what, yeah. If, if I were to tell you to make an Arcana check, you roll a d20, what do you add? Five. Probably pretty pumpy. I mean, it's going to be three plus your intelligence modifier. Yeah. Unless you got something that gives you a, uh, an extra bonus. Like Wait, expertise hold on. So I have the skill Arcana. Mm -hmm. yep. Skills don't have ranks anymore. They don't, no, they don't it's your proficiency bonus. What's your modifier? Right. Well, exactly. the proficiency bonus is yeah. three. What's your intelligence modifier? Uh, yeah, so it is, uh, my intelligence bonus is a plus three. Okay, so you have, you have a plus six. I would say you you probably have knowledge of like the elemental planes, the prime material planes, the shadow fell, the fey, fey wild, and because it's very pertinent to our world, you know, the, the the plane of chaos. But I don't think you would have you know this in depth. All right. So I was discussing it with uh, the urchin, mm -hmm. and it occurred to me that this guy's from the realm of shadow, mm -hmm. and this guy's from the gladed woodlands. Mm -hmm. He's from the, sh and I'm going to say to him, he's from the Shadowfell and he's from the Feywild. And I am convinced of that fact. That's a... Asen is. That, that's a very logical guess. Yeah. What's the Shadowfell like? Here, I'll show you. It is the plane that sits directly next to the material plane. And then... It's so it's almost impossible that it could be that, you know, like that it would be piece, that. Two, four, six, yeah. eight, ten. Okay. So that's the shadow fell, so and that's so the fey wild, and they sit right next to the material Green. plane. Okay. Okay. And oh, oh, oh my gosh! Wait. Uh, so, okay. But there isn't. Can't we just shove them into the painting? There isn't <laughs> no, no, no. no. Paint he's he's saying he he did this previously. Listen, this is, that doesn't do a whole lot of good. The holy waters in the painting. And you're being eaten by a zombie. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Open says me. <laughs> so it's like the scene of Indiana Jones with the water coming down the That's tunnel. what I do. That's ah. that's my, my, my major plan. So An do. avalanche of junk. That's what you do. <laughs> it's our defense. So you use the levitate and put a big exactly. ass bowler and inside of it. In and they're not good. We just open size and then it all just good. drops on them. That's an interesting idea. I like it. Put a big boulder in it, levitate. Open says me. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Crushy damage. All right. Who wants to get door. out of this joint? Door. Indeed. We're following you, Ilian. <laughs> I have acrobatics, so I'm going to do a backflip. Bonus <laughs> action, some of my axe back to my hand. Nice. <laughs> You're not as poor. As I'm, as I'm, you know, very clearly walking to the door, I'm going to change my form a little bit, just a slightly different elf that I want to do. And trying to keep looking with all white hair, so it matches my, my clothes and my robe. All right, so... Over over the next you know minute or so, uh, Anders you know, what we're talking about. depending upon how much you're paying attention, you you eventually look to the quote unquote line leader and realize that his you know his hair is no no longer gold and shimmery. It's a stark white. What did you do? I did not. I didn't did not even see you cast. It was subtle, very subtle. Didn't cast anything or. <sighs> Would you like me to lead, or would Please. one of the heroes of the city like to go first? Town. <laughs> Town, really sorry. We shall follow you. I'll walk right. with, I'll walk I've with been you. working on making it a city. <laughs> I've met obstacles. <laughs> Indeed. So, like a wall. I'm going to walk to the door. Is the door open or closed? It's open. 
Uh, I'm gonna walk out of the door and into the stairway. Is the stairway will go up or down? Down. Down we go, fellas. So you guys travel travel through the, the several layers of the the tower that you you, you know, walk through just you know a scant hour or so ago where you encountered the, the, the dragon and you know you get down down to the the entry level you came in and you walk through the door. As you are exiting the tower, what what is your thought? Where are you trying to go? Well we were on our way to uh, where are you trying to go? I am going to try to determine whether I can I fulfill my obligation, my mission, while I'm on this plane. Wherever this plane is, that I don't know what it is, if I can, if I can bring that light to it. So, okay. Scott, <coughs> where where are you trying to go? I'm following Ely. Ow! We're in the what, chaos realm. There's like there's it doesn't. I've already learned, in my opinion. What 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 is Ace? What, what is Ace thinking? Where is he trying to get to? In all in all truth, I feel like we're trapped in this chaos realm, and I have no idea how to get out. But where, where, where is Asen trying to go? Mm. Where was our original destination? Trisgard's Tower. Right, which we are n not even remotely connected to at this point. Um, Asen is making the best of it, but he literally, it doesn't matter what direction okay. we go in because there are no right. clues that have given us where, any idea where, where is uh, Tyrus trying to get to? He's trying to get to Trisgard's <coughs> Tower. Dave, where, where is uh, Usen? Trisgard's Tower. I was just following everyone else. I was walking out with him, being the saying he's from you know first yeah, player character. Have we missed a single clue that would that would make any difference what direction we headed? No, exactly. Okay. Well, I, I was just trying to yeah. get fra frame of mind yeah. for the characters, and there's reason my, dra for my, my dragon is with me, right? Yes. Okay. You have a dragon. Guess we're sitting on my shoulder. We're trying to get yeah, to the pseudo tower. Pseudo dragon. Pseudo dragon. But it's it's wearing a badass suit of armor. Oh wait, along it's the lines. Off. AC-19. Uh, play, another player character. Um, <coughs> so, I remember back in the day, in older editions, that either clerics or paladins could call upon their god. Correct? In earlier editions, you yeah. could they could do a prayer, and it was like a percentile roll. And all, it, it, was, it was always a, a home, home roll. Always. Okay. Really? Yeah. It wasn't until 5th edition that it actually became part of the core like mechanics. High levels. Like 20 levels. And is it for cleric or paladin? Cleric. Oh, okay. Right. So, you, you walk, walk through, much through just and <laughs> for a brief second, you see, or you experience an expansion of time. You step through this chaotic tower where it, it, it shimmered in, in color and shape and constantly changed what it was. You see and feel the, the chaos storm around you. And you swear an hour, ta uh, an hour transpires over the course of a single step. And from the time frame of when you cross that, 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 uh, that threshold, and, and your foot exits to out to the tower. Oh. When it going. lands, oh, it, went. it lands upon the solid ground of you know, you know uh, of uh, Ulfgania. and you you see the sun shining above. You you see the 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 grass beneath your feet, and you realize as each of you takes this step. That there are only six of you. It, it appears that Neck, ne Turl. Neck and Turl have crossed to somewhere else, or are still there. You, you are, you are un uncertain. No, I like Turl. And something your voice like for home. No, they could have been thinking, "I'm going to go home." Oh wait! In a crane shot, Ace will look up and say, "Neck and Turl, I'll find you in the Feywild in the Shadowfell." <laughs> <laughs> um. And for the rest of you, you're, you're you know you're a little a little perplexed at that at the change, but the shocking uh, revelation for Asin is the image that that takes your vis uh, take, takes your uh, focus 
is you see your master's tower in front of you. Whoa! Trisgar's tower! You're welcome. We are here! <laughs> so, he sees you, it. You know, you know that based on the time that you traveled, that there should have been a, another week's yeah. worth of travel before you would have gotten gotten here. It, it was a two to three week journey, and you had only traveled about a week or so. So somehow, your step into the realm of chaos not only profited you in in gold, but it saved you time as well. And all we lost is our two new friends. I thought that we would lost. We were lost and would not find our destination. What has happened is that our destination has found us. It would appear so. You must have faith, my friend. Indeed. Is that a so. normal occurrence in your world? No, the Chaos Realm is extremely unusual. Indeed. Um, yes. Um, my master, Trisgar, lives in this tower. That's he has called for our aid. Um, I know that you are new to this realm, but uh, we could use your assistance in aiding my master. What? form of aid does he need? Uh, actually, can Something you recast it? Ab- absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Tr- Trisgard is, is a the powerful powerful mage and seer. He's a halfling. And, yeah, his halfling. And his his seeing stone, which is a a, a, a prized possession of his, has been stolen. He didn't <coughs> see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> has, been st- has been stolen by a, th- a thieves' guild that calls themselves the Obsidian Lions. And, you know, out, out of game, Scott, you know, informed everyone last session that he actually used to belong right. to I this did, thieves' yeah. guild. And he, he gathers that either these guys considered the, the, the mage's tower a, a possible in and out situation, or it was done as a. Um, it done because they yeah, they yeah. took him from he took Asin from the from the guild. Okay, so to this point, I see no reason not to come along. Thank you. We could use your help. And he also has how far along you are in your training. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I said, depending how far along you are in your training. We shall see. Yes. Um, I will lead them into the tower. All right, Ty. <coughs> Don't forget our true purpose here. The <laughs> problem? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that sounded ominous. <laughs> All right, uh, well, I'm, I'm heading in. So All right. Putting everything um, is in it, the, it appears the that the security um, checkpoints or whatever you want to call it, you know, the, everything is still still the same. Uh, you're able to use the, the, the same phrases and, and what have you to to, to get in without uh, issue. Um, you, know, you, you enter into <coughs> the, the, the first level of the tower and have a handful of bookshelves. I'm sorry. Oh, we did it. We're good. Good, good, uh, go ahead. A hand, handful of bookshelves. There's a, a, a small cooking fire that Go, goes out towards a, a, a chimney. T- tables of Trisgar size and apprentice size are, are still in still in place. Uh, your uh, your your first uh, sigil is still carved in in the in the in the chair that, that you used to, to occupy. He still has his training wand off off in the corner. Yeah, the s- sentiment strikes you. You know, you spend quite a quite a long time here, and it, it, it brings you you know such such joy to be back back in this in this place N- near the fire, which has got some kind of stew cooking. As you you know that he always enjoys a good meal, but n- near that fire sits the the tiny little little master, and he he seems to be meditating, and there in front of him. Lies an empty pedestal. Ooh. Oh, uh, he is there. Yeah, uh, Master Trisgar. It is so good to be here again. He, he puts out the, the tiny little hand. Yeah, stands up, brushes himself off. You know, w- wipes whatever was in his eyes. 
Um, I can see that you're that you're. Uh, these are my friends. I will introduce all of them, um, and uh, we have come to aid you in returning your seeing stone from the Obsidian Lions and to regain it. But we came here first <coughs> to see if you could give us any direction, or if we could take other um, any other requests from you, my master. Well, um, sa sadly, my son, I. Uh, no, it, it appears that you you know more about these. Uh, dark-hearted men than I. Indeed I do. Um, I, I do sincerely appreciate your your haste in, in getting here. Um. Um, I will tell him the tale of, uh, of the Chaos Tower and just let him know that we went through that to get here. Uh, he, 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 as you well know, is, is, is oft excited by, by tales of adventure and tales of adventure cannot be just shared. They need to be experienced with food. Yeah. So he bids you all bids yes. you all sit at a at a table of uh, you know of, of your appropriate size. As again, he's got 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 the different level and realize that you're all bigger than he is. So he he brings over the big chair that he climbs up into, and uh, you know he he. he 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 does the spell that you've only seen him cast a full a few times because he's not one for for waste and he goes into some some big gestures he actually stands up on his chair and he's moving around and there's at least several times you swear he's about to to fall and a after about a minute or so the the table is overloaded with food and you you swear that there's no way he could know, at least the five of you. Your favorite food is right there, uh, right within reach. <laughs> what about my dragon? So I, I walk up to Trisgar the Bold and I'll bow deeply and introduce myself. Uthengar of Clan Black Iron. My uncle speaks most highly of you, Master Wizard. Oh, I'm, uh, I am familiar with your, uh, your, your clan and on at, on at least, uh, one such travel some time ago. He uh, scratches at his at his face. I, I have I have been been to the hold and was was treated most fair. Excellent. Before we can begin this amazing meal you have planned for us, there there is grim tidings that we must we must address immediately. So when you say before you begin, <laughs> he's, got, <laughs> he's got food right to his face like. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Not only have we come because we wish to aid you in recovering your property that is stolen, but we fear that your good apprentice, Aislin, Aislin. Aislin has, ha has experienced some dark influences and he has been quite addled of late. Warmer we are very second concerned that. about his well being. So I second that. Dun dun dun! Oh no. What, um. What is uh what has transpired here? I will tell him the tale of how he convinced Tyrus to go to Ryler uh, and yeah. get involved in the fighting pits in order to try and slay someone with the dagger to reforge this evil artifact. Wow. Barely, but only <laughs> barely is he able to stop himself from from just Totally falling off off the chair. Next story. Yeah, he, he is clearly flabbergasted. And I tell the tale of the battle, the battle of Angus Blackiron and 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 Aislinn. Wow. And how we tried to the war mage to the, to the death. <laughs> yeah, like tried to convince the Hilton. Mm -hmm. Artifact. How much were they to build? Is he impressed at all that I went against the <laughs> played wizard and lived? Wizard and lived. Did Did he tell that part? <laughs> He, well, he, it's kind of obvious that you lived. That part? He, he, he clearly, uh, he, he clearly knows that you lived, but you see, like, and, shame and, and regret. And he wanted to murder the mayor. Wow. <laughs> he, you see, you know, murder shame and regret cross his face, uncle. and he, he gets and that and that stern look from the 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 early days of your your apprenticeship, <laughs> and he he. He puts his hand back and wiggles his finger, and the training wand comes into his hand. 
Uh oh. And he steps carefully around the food, not to touch a single plate, which shows a lot more dexterity than, than he did almost falling off the chair. Bad apprentice! Oh, no. Bad apprentice! Bad apprentice! And he whacks you a couple times across the head and shoulders. No, I'm praying. I laugh so hard I do fall off my chair. Uh, I, I am sorry, Master. Everything that has been said is true. The only thing I can say in my defense is at one time you were an active adventurer and you were out and about among the monsters and the politicians and indeed uh, and and in those times you know that what is studied does not always work in practice and that sometimes hard decisions must be made tis true tis true but did your friend not tell you did he not warn you that he said wear your tongue this this is probably the most powerful man that I know. And he crosses his tiny little arms. Uh, is he talking about the dwarven yeah. mat, the yeah. mage? Hmm. Well, actually, Master Trisgar, I learned from you that it is always worthy to stand up to someone bigger and bolder than you are. But he was that not... is be how you become great. But he was not threatening you. He merely offered you an insult. And it's uh, and, master, and, and, master. If he had insulted me, I would never have dared to say even a word back to him. He insulted you. No, and he, that is why I did what I did. He he, he said he, that ten years of study under you was nothing. I uh, I doubt that is what uh, what Angus would have said, because he actually knows me and I know of he. Exactly. So I. I'm willing to, to put a wager that he actually scoffed at just the, 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 the length of ten years. If you that say it's so, There are so. some that think that the dwarves are a little addled and it takes them a long time to learn something. He kind of winks in your direction. Master, if I have brought you any shit in my uh, I gosh. stifle a, a, a grin. Um, I shall be more careful in my dealings with those um, out in the realms. It is, it is, it is right, noble, and just to stand up for something that you believe in. But it is a sour day to throw your 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 life away for something that not need be done. Uh, he takes the fan that he got uh, when he first started. That's a trinket. And he starts just like cooling the air because it's getting hot in here. <laughs> I'll say, I have much I wish to say, Master, but I shall say none of it. Your word is what matters. Um, well, she I have learned uh, yeah. that I should be more careful in my actions and my words, and I shall, as always, strive to bring honor to you as my master and to our school of magic. Well, that is... Well, well said. And I feel that this, uh, mind you, he's still standing on the table looking <laughs> down at you. Um, <laughs> this food has sat here for far, far too long, uneaten. And he just reaches, reaches down and grabs something, and plops down into his, <laughs> into his high chair and starts eating. I will join. I will make sure my dragon gets some food as well. Uh, there's. He, he goes right to the right to the side of the table. That there's something Major perfectly them right this. for him. <laughs> so you guys, you guys talk for a while and share share some stories. Um, you feel a bit odd at at the length and breadth of some of these tales because you you don't have any experiences that go that that far or that deep. Mm -hmm. so. I'm just gonna say that a, a tell a, a tell telling competition probably. Uh, Happens, and they, uh, did you say a tattletailing competition? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an intervention. That's much different. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he said that you know after I came up with this 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 plot line of you know putting putting your master in, he's like, oh, we so totally have to have an intervention. <laughs> So I was like, I'm not gonna stop that. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. 
That's fair. All right. <laughs> so Definitely we, took took mage pictures of him getting whacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are going up on Scrollbook. Yeah. <laughs> This is, a of, <laughs> Boo. this is a picture of Aishin yeah. getting his butt handed to him by exactly. my dwarven by brother. Master uncle. <laughs> uh, yeah. so I had that coming. Right. <laughs> excellent, excellent food, Master Trisgar. Right. <laughs> so, some time passes, and uh, it, it seems the food lasts just long enough till everyone is full. And yeah, but well, you know, then there's then there's not a scrap left over. Nice. For the None for six, the seven, eight, eight, uh eight people and the and the, the dragon. <coughs> I am yeah, going to his assistant. Yes, it's yeah. true. Yeah, I'm going to uh, pull from my uh, my pack the Black Iron uh, Secret Brew and uh, so, uh, you know tap the keg and, and start dispensing it amongst us. Okay. And uh, so, Obsida uh, stands stands up, and you know he he, he defends you in, in in some of the stuff and is is not trying to convince. Sure. He he's trying to give the other side, and he he asks Trisgar if not. Well, no, actually, before he, he before he turns to Trisgar, he he turns to you and says, "Did do you do you ask that he call you master? What is what is your relationship?" Oh, what? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, what would he call me? Uh, Does he call you master? Does he call you sir? Does he just call you Asen? Um, master Overlord Supreme Being Ace. And <laughs> I, I, I call my master master. He calls me master. Yeah, absolutely. So, mm. yeah, in his you know, deep, gravelly voice, uh, master, um, you, you have spoken of, of, of the mission, and it actually speaks to the darker side of your past. And out of a request for two things. I I would ask that while you and your compatriots tra- travel on to these uh, th- this guild, that I be allowed to stay here, so that one, I might learn of your your training, learn some from your master, and be spared some of the darker aspects of your past. Uh, Absid here in this tower with Trisgar, you could learn more in a day than you could with me in a year. Um, it is a mo- it is a, a request born of wisdom. Well, um, please stay and... Uh, thank I, you. I did yes. not want to, to, to ask your, your teacher for fear that you might consider that an insult to, to no, your teachings. In no way. You have been a faithful servant um, and uh, and a valued apprentice, and I absolutely wish you to stay with Trisgar as long as you possibly can, because you can learn far more with him. Um, and then when you are ready to return, please do. Though, um, though your master is uh, is knowledgeable, I, uh, I do offer non-insulting scoff at... What, what he might be able to teach me today cannot possibly be more than I could learn from you in a year. It is kind of you to say. And we are invaded by goblins. Kobolds. Good night. Good night, Gabriel. Good night. Good night, Gabriel. Thank you. So, so he turns to, to Trisgar and they have a, a, a brief conversation and as things begin to, to wind down and you know, all all enjoy the ale. They, you guys begin putting forth the, the the battle plan of trying to defeat the Obsidian Lions. De- defeat the Obsidian Lions. Um, you know, the idea, you know, is brought up. You know, are you looking to, to go in, do a smash and grab, get the ore, get the the stone, and go? Are you looking to bring these guys? in into justice or are you looking to 
offer your own justice and wipe them off the face of the earth. Well, I know the place of their guild, is that correct? Correct. I think we should burn their guild to the ground. Uh, fan comes out again. So play, I think you play, you deserve play, this absolutely. more than I do. Um, he gives it to your master. We're going to do the, the will of the wisp sort of <laughs> concept. Okay. Oh, so my, my, my other kobold is attacking. <laughs> what, what, while the conversation kind of gets underway, um, I want to do two things. One is I'm going to summon my familiar. Right? Okay. And just have him putz around, see what he can see, and let him, you know, see what he can let me know. And then the other is I want to poke around and look for a pipe. <laughs> can I see the straw? So, um, throughout, throughout the, <clears throat> the, the course of of feasting, merriment, Which and um, and planning, no, no, all of a sudden, a a light blinks into existence uh, around uh, Ilian, and it's literally just a floating orb of light. What is with you in the lights already? All right, back backtracking a little bit. Huh? After he goes on to his little, after he goes on his other little bit that he just did uh -huh. about wanting to burn him to the ground, I have him master my. My fan that I got is a trinket. Okay. With a picture of a sleeping cat on it. Uh, uh, so anytime that his thing he starts going off, he just. <laughs> well, the. <laughs> Wants to burn it to the ground. I can get behind it. So him. this is. I the... have one more question before we leave. Uh, Go ahead. Well, I mean, this is uh, up to you guys for for discussion as to how you want to handle the the thieves guild. The, you know, the, the options are smash and grab. You know, bring them to justice, or as he suggested, <clears throat> burn it to the ground and wipe them off the face of the earth. How many of them are there? Oh, um, there are. You, you, you wouldn't be able to, to have an educated guess. Was... Back then, there was you know maybe a dozen or two, but it's been more than a decade since you've been with them. Twelve years, there was about twenty to twenty-five. I'd expect them to have doubled or tripled. So we're probably talking fifty or seventy-five um, <clears throat> rogues. Now the reason I said burn it to the ground is the seeing stone won't burn. As a sorrowful music comes from playing from the bagpipes. <laughs> but what do you guys think? <coughs> grab, bring them to justice. What do you think? Hmm. Well, the Obsidian Lines have been operating a long time in this region. I do not think it'll be an easy matter to bring them to justice. They're, they've probably have entrenched themselves with the local Agreed. politicians and, and law enforcement. Agreed. So you invited me to join to commit arson? Um, well, it's not be arson per light. se. <laughs> <laughs> Fire does provide light. I mean, as I said, there's a portion of this I can get behind. So, I agree. Um, what is, and by the way, I did say burn their guilt. <laughs> is, <laughs> is it possible? No that <laughs> is it possible that uh, it it is the stone they were after, or is something else? I never thought of that. You were one of them, maybe. I mean, ten years is a long time to hold a grudge. I mean, yeah. I mean, not so much for a dwarf, but you know, for humans and halflings. And you could just go ask them to give it back. Yeah. Um, if they truly stole it. Wouldn't you seek them brought to justice? Uh, we could punch them in the. It's a whole guild. It's like trying to bring the mafia to justice. There was a day. When I cared of the law, I those days are behind me. Mafia, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were still lawful. Oh, no, no, no. You, no, no. you, 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 you brought me down so, to so, do yeah, uh, Sorry, you, you, you lost the lawful part. Back you still come on sorrowful music. Um, so uh, now they are simply former. Uh, and also, I had thought I had risen above them, but a good friend of mine recently <laughs> re re reminded me that my dark deeds are not that far behind me. <laughs> So I would say that they should not be brought to justice. That we should return the item. How, um... So I'm willing to help you return the item, but I struggle to find it in me to eliminate them <laughs> without fair counsel. It seems Uthengar and Taris also agree that we should simply get the item and go back. The music starts I'm lightening up, getting happier and joyful. I'm comfortable with well, that. Well, I'm concerned that, there's a, this, that this is part of a larger play. You know, um, who amongst them can use it? Or did they procure it for someone? Is it perhaps a trap to lure Master Trisgard to the, into their clutches? Or do they really, after 10 years, still have designs on you? Once again, your thinking is beyond my own. Um, 
I think we should immediately ride for their guild, plan as we ride, and I must say, um, I, you have corrected me to my master. I actually owe you an apology because you showed respect to my master and I did not show respect to your uncle. I believe you should do the planning for this, this mission. I may be too close to it. Well, I'm going to leave the painting here with all our goods. So be it. Be on the safe side. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should fantasy seal sixteen. Seal, uh, seal sixteen. This one. Storage. Better watch. I don't get shoved in the painting. <laughs> Bring it, little man. <laughs> so we know of the location of this guild and where they are keeping the stone. Yes? Uh, I do know the location of the guild. Unless it's moved or expanded. And that's true. Uh, we are assuming it is at the... It is at the... Um, is it? So for, I think the first step is just to go into the uh, town and for, do some reconnaissance. We need to see what's going on. and Before see what, we go directly to the guild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, what, see what the mood and in in, the populace is. Wisdom. So while they're casually discussing the, the best course of action, I'm going to change my shape and form, and I'm going to look basically like him. Sit next to him at the table and say, reconnaissance is a good idea, <laughs> something I can probably help with. Well, you do look more handsome now. <laughs> <laughs> I could not disagree more. <laughs> and then I turn myself into Uthengar and go, actually, I've been corrected. <laughs> and then back into my elven form. <laughs> Devil man! <laughs> <laughs> We're all like, oh. <laughs> what, did you just do? what did he just do? Uh, it sounds like we are about to go out. I did have one question before. So none of you are gonna react. Yeah, to I am. But oh, he's oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you looked up like, and he's what? sitting next I to mean, himself. <laughs> Bagpipes dropped to the ground. And he's like, what? The, the what? one thing you notice through all of the changes, though, is that the circlet never changes or moves. What hmm. magics are these? No I did not see you cast. There is no magic, sir. Master Trisgar, can you explain this creature? Um, he he was off having a conversation with Obsid, so oh, he, yeah. he totally <laughs> missed it. Totally missed this. <laughs> um, what what he? What, what do you want to explain? He's an elf. He changed into him, then changed into him. Uh, was there something in that? Like that? It's pretty much what he said. Good beer. Um, East New Gloss. Do it again. East New Gloss, our party. So he, he, he reaches over to the shelf and he, he pulls out spectacles and he's... Can I help you? Know, you? Cha 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 <laughs> changing things and he puts down another lens and he puts down another <laughs> lens. And you really feel like you're kind of being a little <coughs> violated here. Yes, slightly. Um, yes, like I'm um, mm -hmm. like so, a little concerned about his proximity. So as he gets closer and closer... Well, no, I mean, he, he just puts down a couple, like, it's got, okay. like, the So the, the longer this that... continues, the brighter I attempt to make the light rating off my cape. My so, um, as, as as they said, you didn't waggle or do anything. Why would I? Why why would I? Can, can you not do the same? Uh, nope. Shape changer. Shape changer? Yes, what you did. You're a shape changer. I can take, make myself look as... Other creatures I may have seen, yes. Is that what you mean? Well, what do you look like? Oh, well, that is a story for another day. <laughs> Are you a creature of shadow? Oh, no. I am a creature of light. Hmm. Perhaps he's a doppelganger. <laughs> I've heard of these creatures. Shapeshifters, doppelgangers. Indeed. Twins. I have found it to be a, a, useful, all a useful trait over the years. Are you a doppelganger? I'll make myself look like him again. I am at the moment. <laughs> so he goes over and he grabs a book <laughs> off the shelf. And... <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass blasted into oblivion. <laughs> or cut up into small pieces. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna wag you with the trading wall. All, all of this. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. We've seen. We've seen. Now, it's now, like Yoda beating R2D2. Seen, this one do it. Now. <laughs> but it's usually just animals. What's this? You've seen this one, though, when he's talking to, to the druid, Danos. He does the same? I just kind of walk away from the table, like, a few feet, and then I turn into a bear. 
Well, now that is a mighty trick. <coughs> so he, he looks at you intensely and... I take a step back. Like he's, he's trying oh. to convey a message to you, is what, is what you see in his eyes. Don't do that again. <laughs> No, 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 no. He goes back to his, uh... His, so indeed, what I do is no Ow. less... What? So he, what he, I do naturally is load less, no he, less fantastic. He, he, he pulls out a picture like this, <laughs> and he's like, what is, it? is that you? Oh, with these, sir, not. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> wow, that's a doppelganger. Mm. Wow. That's not you? No, that is very much not. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I believe that I would know if I looked like that. Okay. He's not a doppelganger. I don't know what he is. I just am. But he can turn himself into an animal. Surely I cannot do that. Of it. Divine sense. You've already used it. You the... You get like three times a day. Who, what do you... It just tells me if he's a fey, fey, undead, or... Oh, yeah, but you've already sure used it on him. Yeah, 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 we have three times a day, though. Yeah, but it, it, why do you think it's going to be different this <laughs> time than the last time? Oh, I'm, not, I'm, not undead. Undead. <laughs> yeah, I'm not undead. I'm not undead. He's not fey, undead, or evil. Yeah. yeah. So, for I done it, I wouldn't have done it. Well, to his point, he's not giving us any reasons. He's not giving us a lot of reasons to oh, trust I'm, him. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, like, like. <laughs> hmm. what, I, I'm seeing what, what he does. He's a druid. He uses magic to shape change into animals. You're just randomly changing into people. Oh no, not random. Uh, yeah, I can. To us. I, I I do it as I wish. It is. I I don't understand why you don't do the same. <laughs> because we're not we can't. Doppelgangers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have changelings on this realm. What is that changeling? Change changeling. I mean, I'm a changeling. Andrew does change. change. Andrew's still trying to figure out the light part of it. Like who does he, who does he actually serve? What kind of religion? That is fascinating. God, what? Well, he yes. he mentioned nothing about about religion. He said he was not not a cleric, right. but he worshipped the light. Well, he has just told us he's well, a changeling. I, I worship yeah the ancients, and they worship the light. So we were simply shocked by your abilities. How? But now that we know, they come from a natural place. Yes. So as, long, as long as I have seen so natural, <laughs> as long as I have seen the creature before, and it generally resembles my natural form, I can appear as it, so I so wish. That might and come in useful when practice. we deal with. As long as I can remember, which unfortunately is not as extended a period of time as I would like. Oh, what, Master Trisgard, could you help him with his memory? I don't know that my memory needs to be changed. Are you young? Think so? Oh my God, we got a child. If it's <laughs> <laughs> you already had one technically, but I mean, okay. My past does not matter. What it simply matters is what I am bound to do. What are you bound to do? To bring the light where I go. He keeps saying that. Indeed, I serve the light through a different means. Well, then, perhaps in another space we are kindred spirits. Mm. So, we leave in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be best. I think we should ride as soon as possible. Okay. And can you make yourself into any other creatures? Just beasts. Such as? Lions, targets, lions, Apes. tigers, bears, oh my. Can you Lots. please change yourself into an oh my? <laughs> I don't believe so. <laughs> so our plan as it stands, uh, according to Uthengar, is to ride into the city, gather reconnaissance, and then, and then our from there we'll there. formulate our plan. Dun, 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 dun. I have one question. It's a, a player question. Okay. So I, um, Asen would know the majority of the magic items are here. Much. I'm sure there are some new. Might Trisgar have a Taroka deck? <laughs> I'll let you roll percentile. That is kind. All right, what what am I shooting for? We'll, we'll see what you roll. All right, thirteen. No, no wow. <laughs> he left them in his so other before robes. I, Thanks before for the roll. Turn in, has my, uh, Twenty on in investigation when we get to the city. Oh, oh, yeah. Has that? my before we turn in and begin our travels? Has my wisp turned up anything I may find interesting? Any dark little secret or corner to go look at? Um, well, I mean there are, there are areas that 
Um, did did you did you name him or her? Not yet. Okay. No. Um, he he is it he? He sure. flashlight. He, he tends to <laughs> flashlight. Flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> he tends he tends to take your um, bringing light to the darkness to a ridiculous level. So when you tell him to go explore. He likes to find corners okay. and make them bright. Yep, that sounds so, reasonable. Okay. So he, he does that a little bit. And there are, there are books on the shelves or, or things that don't, that didn't come from, or that aren't normal where, where you came from. So those would be of interest. And to everyone else here, it's like, you know, mundane little things or, okay. you know, odd, odds and ends, arcane paraphernalia that. You never dealt with before, okay. and there's a lot of that kind of stuff here. So there's definitely you know, stuff to wander around and look at. Interesting, but not actionable. Perfect. Okay. But he he always gets the, the, the kick out of when it, whenever he's around. It's like, oh look, there's a shadow over there. Let's make it go away. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're friends. All right, so has anyone else wished to do anything over the course of the night? Nope, just uh, setting a watch. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I'm going to let the timer run yeah, out on my bear form and make the most of it, because I had to use one. <laughs> to <prove it> <laughs> <laughs> so you, you spent several hours as a bear? Yes. <laughs> just for once we can all sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm asleep on his back then. <laughs> bear skin rug bed. <laughs> Did you giant bear? <laughs> <laughs> so you turn into a grizzly? The cave one. The cave, cave bear. bear. Yeah. I so. like those more. Alright. So, he, he leads you off to um, you know, the, the, the second and third floor where there is essentially a handful of uh, space and, and you guys are able to, to, to camp out. Mid middle of the night Whoever, whoever is not a sound sleeper or happens to, to trance, you, you hear uh, you hear someone st stumbling downstairs, and the, looks like the or sound sounds like the the fire gets gets roaring again. And a little while later, you hear some some fairly loud munching, and and everything goes quiet. Again. <laughs> <That's really scary. laughs> The halfling and his midnight snacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Claire, question. Um, so he's actually not an elf. He is a changeling? Correct. Correct. Who appears as an elf. That's my preferred generally. form. Yeah. Is the prefer wow. appears an elf. Yes. Uh, do Can't blame you on that. <laughs> Claire, what do you look like in your own form? Player knowledge? Yeah. I have no idea. Wow. <laughs> I, actually, Bart doesn't know. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know either. I have no idea what it's like supposed to look like. Looks like that. Have you ever seen Deep Space Nine? <laughs> yeah, but I don't like sleeping in buckets. So. <laughs> oh, no. They look like a much more humanized uh, doppelganger. Okay. Yeah. And, and the uh, much more human-like features, except for they have like the slits for the nose instead of a nose. They have the, yeah, the gray it, skin. It's, it goes worse than that. Bart doesn't even know. Like, no idea. Like, <laughs> his mechanically, he is a changeling. Yeah. But racially, he is entirely something else. Wow. At some point, I'll start. Andrew will, will start talking to him about the tenants of the ancients and how the how yeah, how we there you go. Tell him. I just trying to give you religion. Ugh, I don't need to well. <laughs> <laughs> Snoozing. Well, no, he, he's he's trying he's trying to find a, a, a commonality, a, yes. Because he he says he worships the light through following the path of the ancients, yes. and and he talks about the the forest and ancestral spirits, <coughs> and he, he goes into things that you know, there is there is beauty in nature and. and how he his, kindles the light, shelters the light, preserves his own light, and how he will beat the light. And I don't. So I, I'm struggling to understand because where I'm from, it just is. It's it's energy. It's it's light. There's no intermediary. Interesting. So yeah, I, I don't necessarily connect with how you get to how you get to your your god and then the light. You you, you 
you would say that you know like you in, in, in time of your training mm -hmm. you you existed <clears throat> yes where there was no darkness yes you existed exactly. in, in a place where you were trained to seek out the darkness and get rid of it just a different kind of light that's what you gather um also that evening if i get a chance mm -hmm. i will talk to him and explain that we are an adventuring group but that um, there have been other members of our team, uh, Rosalind Phelan and Buckle and Arbalason, and I will tell him tales of them. Um, and I will not mention Lyndon. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're not my brother, too? Uh, <laughs> that's right, Varys. Did, 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 did you adventure with Varys? Varys? Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. I wasn't certain whether you were around. <laughs> no, I was here. We've heard uh, enough stories. I'm not going to tell him about Varys, because that was a dark ending, man. A human, a human druid? And uh, I've uh, an elven ranger Excellent. who they, they they did not handle civilization well and preferred to stay out in in the wilderness in between their, their quest and, and they they ran afoul of a null fang okay and unfortunately they did not survive yes yeah, so unfortunate. <coughs> Yeah, only a third of our members actually. Well, maybe twenty-five percent has passed. Uh, Arbalason. <laughs> That's a fairly, fairly stout is, number. <laughs> Arbalason is a uh, he is he is an elf who is equal part priest and merchant, and parts of him struggled with that that dichotomy. And Fair enough. He, he's off figuring it out. He is. He's, he's been, all figuring. He it has out. been trying to figure out where where he needs to 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 put a focus for to be good at one. It's hard to put any focus on the other. And was was, was there was that it? Uh, Rosalind Phelan. Yes. Yep. Buckle. Yep. I said that. Arbalason. <laughs> I am not going to mention Varys because his end was dark. Man, that was dark. I don't know. Rosalind and Buckles Rosalind. wasn't too great either. <laughs> I, I don't want to scare him away. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, how did they die? I don't even remember. They, they ran afoul of the Null Fang. And, and then they got murdered, and then the snake ate them. <laughs> they, they were they were attacked by, I'm, by I'm the snake. Right? Like, and they were eaten by a snake. <laughs> they just kept going on Arbalace. They got eaten but I'll really, I'll really shine on Arbalace. They got eaten and regurgitated. <laughs> <laughs> Virus was great. Yeah, you know, he died and came back uh, a couple will, times. I'll, I'll tell him, you know, don't. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to tell him about Varys. I'm not even so touching pl that. Player, uh, player knowledge, <laughs> Varys was Mark's first character. Yeah. Okay. And only only player character to die in this campaign. Yeah, the other, the other two actually died as NPCs. Yeah, Ted yeah. just um, murdered them. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there were players that weren't. That weren't he went old back. school. You oh, didn't show up oh, for the oh, game, oh, you're, you're dead. dead. And since he brushes the light, we're trying to, we're going to try to make the, the but, cult. Uh, Varys, Varys came back as a, be the as a be the, zombie. Be trying to kill the light? Every <laughs> single time they left the horse, oh boy. he showed up. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna try to convince oh him. yeah, we went through a lot of horses. I hope you don't lay those. <laughs> <laughs> are we trying to convince well, him? I have no particular connection to, 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 to your knowledge. It's been at least a, what a year and a half since uh, you know you've had any any issues with uh, with Varys coming to say hi. So we're dead horses. Also, we haven't uh, killed any horses. But we do we while. do want to ride as quickly as you can to get to the city. That's right. Exactly. As we walk out, I summon my my elk mount. This I don't think the rest of us actually have. <laughs> I don't think we have any mounts. Coconuts. Yeah. We gave up on mounts. Yeah. Can you grab my mount? Bring them. Yeah, we. Uh, so it'll fit one person. You put us all in the painting and let us all ride the. <laughs> we, will, we will see elk. if we can walk the, through the next city and then yeah. maybe get mounts to. I think it's intelligent to enough to at least bring some. Yeah, Jeremy's how the far, only one far off is the town? An awesome mount. Uh, less, less than I a day's ride. I think that David could probably turn himself into a mount. That yes. only helps one of us though. <laughs> Or two, depending on the mount. That's true. You become an elephant? <laughs> I don't think so, not yet. Yeah. Is that not enough hit dice? I think that's next level. Gotcha. It was good. Yeah, I think that's a lot more levels. I think we're hoofing it. How many are? I could probably fit at least Nine, one. Ninth level, you can turn into some cool dinosaurs. Yes! <laughs> I can ride a dinosaur. Well, can I do an ankylosaurus yet? I think, I think it's ninth. Yes. It's only Can we be ninth level? Yeah. What? Must be ninth level. That's a good idea. Is that a session or two or nine? 
can roll your eyes at me. You got the eighth level this session. I'm gonna try to play my oak this way. I want to let him. I'm gonna let it fend for itself more. Uh -huh. Meaning, give it more free freedom. Like, not try to control it. Okay, it is. Your elk is a magical creature. Mm -hmm. As as he exists as a summon creature, you literally have the ability to just magically dismiss him. It it doesn't. It doesn't have a personality beyond wishing to follow the same tennis that you do. So, if it dies, you just can cast the spell again and he comes back without having any Meat issues. Shield. What? Meat shield. If you want to expend a second level paladin spell slot like that, sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you kidding? They're, not, they're almost sick. Probably one of the items they're probably looking for. Just something that... I don't have to spell it. It's a big deal. Like, none of us even remotely have a mount like this. And I can, I can like, I could conjure bring a mount without a mental you, you could technically do, not not as good, but I mean, you could do Phantom Steed right. if you had access to that spell. I have not uh, taken uh, it. Um, um, I, and I have not seen, I don't think it was added to here. Okay. I could make a giant insect. <laughs> you would still have to. I haven't used my 8th level. I, mean, I, I highly doubt I'm going to take that as my 8th level spell. Well, my 5th level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know I know. mean, 8th is still 4th level spells. Believe it or not, um, I'd much rather use gold for something that... For getting a horse than a magic spell. That seems crazy. Yeah. Um, plus, now that I'm neutral good, we can just steal them, right? <laughs> Isn't that how it works? <laughs> and then he's neutral. I feel like... That good part. The, with I, the alignment thing, once you go to the first one, it's just like a slide. You just ride them down. <laughs> I mean, if you want to work back to, to lawful, I don't have a problem with that, but just the actions over multiple sessions, I... I I, I had to do that. Saying you're wrong. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying now that now that we've broken that, you know, whatever <laughs> barrier, whatever it is, well, I mean, it's it's still that, might as well ride it all the way down. That's uh, that's up to you whether you want to continue that that slope or whether you want to, you know, use that as okay. Well, I did this, and you know, my my character feels remorse, and I need to. I need to change my mindset back to what it used to be. He's like, I feel really bad about this. Chaotic evil is the only thing that's going to purge that feeling. People go through changes <laughs> like that throughout throughout the course of their life. It, it, ha it happens. And I've, I've known people that are like, oh, I do this and I do that. And I'm like, well, but that's not what you used to do. Well, oh, man, well, I, need to, I need to make changes. I mean, it, it's... He used to be a straight-laced though. And, it, and it's something like, like some players, they will actually... Um, like plan alignment shifts in in a, in a character arc, and other times it just happens throughout the course of the course of the events. All that being said, we wake up and that apprentice wand has been shoved through Trisgar's throat. <laughs> 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 that was the actual noises we heard in the middle of the night. <laughs> wow! So we've got a chaotic evil uh, wizard over here, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he would never do such. No, absolutely not. Yeah, if you go, if you, you decide to use the dagger, though. No, no. So we <laughs> can put it together. So we can take it. <laughs> By the way, they they uh, they're, they're carrying around a magical dagger that has the ability to possess people. <laughs> and it By might the, be evil. By the way, who has that? You. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's all. You still had it. It's one, it's one of you two. Was the last, uh, and I thought Mark was like, I don't want any piece of this. Yeah, I had to. I had to give it back to you because it was talking to me too much. <laughs> Come on. And it so offered you, know. offered you a little bit of power, and you're like, ah, uh, get away! I'm too tempted by this. <laughs> yeah. If I die, if I get close to dying, now I, I don't think I've ever touched it with my skin. Might have to call for it. Right, yeah. I always handle it with that. Yeah. Yeah. Dagger, Mark. save me, Mark. Dave and Ryan's old character, Lyndon, are the only actual characters who who have actually used it. So. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we'll ride on. All right. All right. Good. So, uh, you know, a few hours ride or travel, if you will, oh, to yeah. to uh, the the town of Dalia. Uh, it's it's very much just a town, and. From the time that that you were you were there, it was it was definitely a little more uh, ramshackle or uh, so like it, lo, 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 low income. Uh, however, however you want to say it, it's it's not a well to, well to do place. And having spent a lot of time 
in in Griffin Gaff and watching it blossom and grow. Now we see yeah. how, how Ace and Kane the Bay were like, oh man, he's straight up thug. So look at this place. <laughs> <laughs> he's from the hood. So exactly. Like, you know, you 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 walk you walk into the town and you know you, you're you're hoping <coughs> for that 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 smell of the good bread, and it's like. Man, this this is. It this smells is, like a sewer instead. Uh, it's, bad. It, it, it's bad here. Um, Looking around, I'm like, man, this place is rough. Uncle Angus got lucky, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not of not all of us can um, come from the pampered realms of Crate and Gulch. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us had to had to deal with the hard streets. <laughs> all right, so I will. Uh, uh, actually, I will. So I'll explain to them where we can go. To start interacting with the town folk and answer some questions, but, but well, I'm also going to warn them. I don't think there's any possibility of avoiding um, of them not knowing it's us, because they're, they're a thieves guild. If some people are new in town, they're going to know pretty quick. Well, so this one can turn into anyone. You're going to roll, roll in the roll in the town, and I mean we've got. Uh, uh, full full suit of, of uh, plate mail on. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you guys, you Stay guys down. are clearly have between the six of you more money than the town. Mayhaps we maybe mayhaps we should let them know we're here and let them know let them know what they're a little bit of what they're in for. Is there is there any reason we shouldn't show up right at the door of the guild hall? Because they're gonna know within a half an hour to an hour. <laughs> well, sure, but perhaps we should kind of like wander around and kind of flaunt the fact that we're here despite them. Yeah. Or let them come to us. We should make lots of noises. Follow your lead, Gar. Let's do it. So let's go to like a local a pub. Yes, exactly. <laughs> local tavern. Exactly. Yeah. <sighs> Method number one: burn down the inn. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so, so the inn that you're familiar with, uh, Ethan. What? Which, which one do you go to? Uh, so we go um, to Higgly Wigglies. Yeah. Um. I, I would say we go to the Crested Stag. Okay. And uh, uh, it's kind of a, um, it's a real dive, right? And there's probably the same three drunks that are always there, but there's um, actually only two of them are there. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was like, oh no, oh, that's sad. The other guy's in a bathroom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 For the last time. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, so um, you know, but I, I will. Uh, I'll actually go up to the bar, and uh, you know, I'll kind of slam my hand down, and I'll say, um, you know, it's, uh, old old, uh, old grizzled bartender. It, it's been you know, more than a decade since you've seen him. And it, the, the old grizzled face is still there. It doesn't look like it's aged today, but he's still old and grizzled. Wow. I'll say, uh, mugs of grayscale for all. That sounds contagious. It's contagious. <laughs> I'll say, I'll, I will say, it, it's no black iron secret brew. It's kind of like if you took that and inverted it. <laughs> so he, uh, he waits until as as. As a standard, he, he waits until the coins on the on the table and you know, he put it down. Fe fetches ha half a dozen mugs that are in no way, shape, or form uniform. Yeah. Are they at least clean? They they, they look clean. Mm -hmm. I don't like they were clean at one time. <laughs> so uh, looking around the common room, what do we got? Well, you you got. You know, uh, a, a pair, a pair of guys who look like that they're trying to, to start start their day uh, with a, a little bit of pick me up, if you will. Um, you know, it's still it's you know, mid to, mid to late morning, uh, as as you know, Scott said that there's a there's a couple drunks that probably passed passed out on the tables and woke up and kept going. <laughs> You know what we yeah. say at Craytham Gulch, it's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So other than those four, there's uh, uh no 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 well, uh, and the bartender, other than those five, there's just you guys. So you see any of them obsidian kitties in here? It's a good question. Are there any or any of their informants? Ah, uh, there's no no one you recognize. 
Things have truly changed. I do not recognize anyone here as an obsidian, a lion, or one of their allies. You, you, I'm retcon that a little bit. You, you would, you would probably have on the right here talk about some way to talk about it without, you know, trying to pass on to the bartender or sure, yeah. anyone okay. listening. I'll um, say that more subtly. Yeah. Um, no, no, no one you recognize or no one we're looking for or whatever have you. Black kittens. That's the code word. Oh, oh God. yeah, because that's that's clearly so <laughs> so so little city and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! Oh my! Still um, see coming up. What else goes on here? Is there anything else that we oh, white dogs do to to kind of um, well? Hmm. Is this their usual watering hole? Um, it is one of theirs. They, they they make sure they have a presence in all of the watering holes here in Delia. Um, Perhaps they do not hold the power you think they do. It's possible. Um, is Delia a... Is it on the river or is it landlocked? Landlocked. All right. So where does most of their money come from? Mining? From trade goods? Um, more, more mining. Okay. Um, but there's a little bit of trade goods. Yeah. Um, but... Like it's 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 far enough away from Craven Gulch and uh, Karshapay Town that they can be able to, to do stuff and 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 profit like yeah. you know Gr- Griffin Gaff they're on they're on the on the water so they've got to be able to you know, to trade with everybody here it's landlocked so it's mer- merchant caravans that would have to you know, trade take things out or bring things in yeah. so there's a little bit of trade goods that can can be done here. Um, I'll say if we wish to announce our presence one other place we could go is we could go to um, there's kind of a a mercantile area where they uh, finish the stones that are brought in from the quarry and um, if we were to ask for them there that's such a center of the town that it that the question itself would radiate out and what was that you were saying Uh, so there is there's a there's uh, there's a stone a stone trade area where stones are brought and finished, and then um, and also purchased, uh, that are brought in from the quarry, um, and so if we went to the um, the you know the stone traders Thank corner, we could uh, if we go to the stone traders quarter, That's we could absolutely, um, and we're simply to ask for them. That question would radiate out. So pray tell they have better ale there. Can I use one of these plates or? Yeah, go for it. I say we go. To the market. To the market. To the market. Time to beat some people up. So, you head to the market. Me and my white robes. Um, and you're used to the, the, the bustling, you know, market streets of, of Griffin Gaff, you know, where, where there's smiling faces and whatever have you, and the, the, the dilapidated buildings, the dour faces. Does this place feel like a poor Rylor? Yes. Wow. It, it's not it's not quite as as rampant as as Rylor is with the you know, the, the, the criminals r- running in the streets, but it's it, much you, poorer. Yeah, you you just get that that sad that sad that sad feeling that if you know you you could literally empty half of the the, the gold from your painting and change everyone's life in this town. Wow. Hmm. Oh, with that said, I'm going to leave 10 gold at the... at the... the at the stag. crusted stag. Exactly. You own it now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've come up. Three months in the you come up with a good one. So <laughs> <even owned up. laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? I actually like that. Three that, was, version. that was pretty good. So, like, do, do you try to do it subtly, or no. do you like? What did he say? He said you I'm now own it. it now. <laughs> You're gonna he get just punch- stares at you. you like, punch would be a blood. What? The hell? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> That's the best grayscale I've ever had. <laughs> and then we'll walk out. He, he, he like a statue. Like yeah. he doesn't know how to react. Well, like Aislinn said, he drops the mic and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> the name on the outside of the tavern goes such changing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll mark it the off. The crested Aislinn. <laughs> 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 
That's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna just buy the <laughs> town slowly. <laughs> just awesome. buy the town. Out from underneath the, the, this coat. Oh, that's this funny. The crested east. <laughs> okay. Well, the crested shard gal. There you go. I like that yeah. better. Yeah, it's good. So you guys head to the head to the the, the marketplace, as I said, and you know, out uh, out literally, you know, ch- ch- chipping at a at a a, a rock piece. You, know, you see, uh, you know, uh, an, an, o- an older older dwarf. Um, his his uh, his his apron, you know, covers his uh, his strong chest. His 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 hair is 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 gray and, and withered. Looks like it hasn't been washed in a while. And he's you know car- carving in, into this this stone block. His muscles are are stout and tight from you know dealing with the chisel as as long as he has. Uh, you, you know with with the the, the amount of gray. This is a, a very old dwarf. He's, he's probably seen at least at least two centuries. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so I'm looking around and I start thinking. I'm like, I'm Wait thinking, like, what kind of thieves guild could actually be in this town that would actually be able to take the stone from his tower? Like, does he leave the door open <laughs> during that night or something? Yeah, that's, that's a great point. I never even thought about that. Mm-hmm. Even the neighbor to get in. Uh, Trisgar's got wards. Yeah, it would not have been easy. And honestly, I hadn't really thought about it because, you know, I left these guys behind. And while I am ready to do for Trisgar, I'm not super excited about betraying the people I left behind. And there was a day where I thought they had left them completely behind. I'm not sure that's true anymore. Seems kind of odd, that's all. No, it's a completely valid question. What is what is the, what are they using as the thieves guild uh, that he knows of? Um, there was, uh, it, as far as he's aware, there there is a a decent sized building that was a as an old uh, house. It's not not quite a mansion, but not as a you know not just a standard you know dwelling that. The, the the people that, that used to live there decades ago died and had had no heirs, so they just kind of took over. Do you have fireball? Is there any open oh, windows gosh. or obvious? I have pretty Where in the place. town is in yeah. relation to us? We could literally take uh, the, the building would be on the other the other side. I have flame flame flame. Flame. I can roll it around. All right. All right. So okay. They're already planning on. So are we gonna go talk to this story. dwarf. What was his name one again? Uh, you he, uh, he yeah. hadn't approached him yet. So. Yeah. Do you know him? Uh, do I know him? I, that's up to you. Uh, Does this character know yeah, him? If you would have had uh, any yes any desire to actually well, this uh, dwarf uh, Mazarian, his name uh, is I Jeffrey. do know him. Uh, he has been leading the Stone Trades Corner for quite some time. So racist. Not all dwarfs. At least know for other, twelve. You know. At least for twelve years since <laughs> I've been. It's here. a myth. So the, if you if you've had conversation, you know that he is uh, he is clanless. He doesn't he hasn't discussed why he, he why he doesn't claim a name or why he doesn't have one, but he's always just addressed himself as that. I'll approach him, Mazarian, you clanless old bastard. Good to see you again. <laughs> Rub it in. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother, God, how I hated that human. <laughs> really, he's back. Uh, yeah, I'm picturing like Mr. Wilson over the fence, and Dennis the Menace like shows up after being gone for years. <laughs> that's that's pretty much the reaction you, you you get in the in the the scowl that that crosses his face. This is my good friend Uthengar, and he's got a question for you. Well, Matt. Good day, sir. <laughs> sir, huh? So I, I, I come over and start inspecting his handiwork, and uh, that's why they make friends with dwarves. Uh, yeah, and yeah. To, to see uh, as <laughs> like dogs sniffing each other's butts. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Um, 
it's nothing spectacular. It's, it's certainly not worth writing home about, uh, but it's not bad. So, uh, so he's an old dwarf, right? Yes. You, you, if you, if you had to put money on it, you, you would say he's a, he's lived at least two centuries. Wow. Uh, how goes your how fares your day, old timer? This hellhole as bad as the day before. <clears throat> Can you tell me about some obsidian lions? I got something special for you. He, he looks up and down the street. Talk. I uh, I pull out the, the secret and pour a mug, fill a mug with it and set it on top of what he's working on. Would love to. Can't. You can't drink? That. You can't drink that. I'll be a bearded gnome. What do you mean you can't drink that? I am definitely thinking about summoning my axe. I've been gravely insulted. I'm not worthy. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> All right, that might be the case. Have you ever considered shaving well, your head then. and becoming a slayer? <laughs> Are you actually asking them that? No, we don't. I don't think we have slayers in our world. <laughs> it'd be a good, it'd be a fitting end for him, though. What? What is your towel, old timer? I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> it's been poured. It must be drunk. You go to grab it. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's just walking away. <laughs> it's like our secret brood all that long. They'd be fighting words again for a door. Oh, that's funny. Steal his ale. Oh. <laughs> well, me, me, me home was the home. And ah, me cousin lives there. And, and I got in a... In a, in a feud over a dame and I pushed it I pushed it too far I see the uh, clan head son he won never never thought it would happen that way I lost lost me home lost me clan lost me name Good guy, did you kill the girl? <laughs> no, but... You just failed to secure her hand in courtship? Mm, that's... More than that, some of the... Took unjust liberties? No, no. Things I... Things I did to try and win... Weren't, uh... Weren't right. Weren't just. Weren't dwarf. I don't get it, like... You murder a bag of kittens to impress her? I mean, <laughs> you're what? an elf. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Thank ah. God, yes. Because I can't understand how uh, trying to win a girl's heart or get her attention would end up having me kicked out of the town, lost my name and home. You're not spending time with the right girls. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently not. Which is probably why I'm still saying. Losing, losing a duel is a serious business. Yeah. So, so I've been out, out here, far away from home, stuck doing mediocre work. I haven't done anything to prove a worth or feel like I'm worth a damn. So I, I mean, I mean no disrespect towards your 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 clan's special ale. That's a close one. He almost drank it. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, perhaps <clears throat> one day you will find you'll find the courage to reclaim your honor. Was well, he happy to do that? And this is uh, Taurus, Taurus talking to you. That is a very personal, that is a very personal matter that this dwarf would have to sort out with the gods. Damn. Alright. 
So this is all this is all new. new. He never spoke any of this kind of stuff with you. With you and <laughs> no how many times you rubbed it in his face? <laughs> <laughs> lost his girl, lost his home, lost his clan. You grew up with him. We find it all out in five minutes. Mm-hmm. You gotta be a dwarf. Mm. It's a dwarf thing. It's you, gotta dwarf disgr- thing. you gotta disgrace him by saying he's clanless and then offer him something he can't drink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So that is your appendix? You, you no longer drink? I'll drink, but I don't get to drink the good stuff. <sighs> Fate worse than death. But what happens do? if you drink the good stuff? Is this like a self imposed thing or. Will someone seek you out? And, uh, no, it's a matter of duty. duty. <laughs> Might I suggest the crested stag? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, drinking the crested stag could be redemption for what you did. <laughs> uh, bringing the, the grayscale could be um, redemption. I'm of a mind to agree with him. <laughs> but I heard they may, might be making improvements at the crested stag soon, so you might want to check back. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of <laughs> narrows his uh, fuzzy eyebrows at you. Don't take it personal. He just doesn't like dwarves. <laughs> it's the oh, air. It's true. I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> he's, so apparently he's always disliked dwarves. <clears throat> I didn't realize I had found such a special place in his heart. <laughs> so tell me about these obsidian lions. Earn the respect of this dwarf. So he uh, he asks you to. You know, you're all welcome, but he asks you to, to come inside. And in, in, inside, there's a couple of things that looks like it's actually dwarven made, as mm-hmm. opposed to the to the boring stone that you know he he was tink, tinking at. And they're up on up on shelves that. You get the idea that they're they're there as a um, you know keepsake or, or mark of honor. Um, you know maybe he actually does have some skills. However, however you want want to interpret it. What are they? Um, there's a you know a, a, a statuette made made out of metal. There's a um, there's actually a. a you know, a, a carved stone statue of you know a majestic dwarf. He's got an, an axe in one hand and a, and a, and a mug in, mug in the other. If you actually look, look close in the, in the stone, you can see the actual beard lines, as opposed to it being a you know a block. It's painstakingly ch- chiseled in the the, the lines. Um, the Give me a perception check. Everyone or just him? Whoever whoever's looking detailed at the statue. Thank you. Okay. Well that's a whopping eight. <sighs> oh wait a minute, can I use stone cunning? Ooh, well, I got sure. a twenty one. Twelve. I don't know what I have to add to this, but I'll roll Pass 21. Is 18. Perception. That's better than what I roll. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's that. A twelve. I got a twelve too. Alright, so that is a sixteen. So because of stone stone cutting, uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll I'll give it to you. Um, you you feel like there's some of him like in the in the face. Like if you if you actually gave him. Care, you took away some of the some of the lines, and you gave him that that youthful and you know exuberance. Like the, this, this could be a younger version of himself. But the stonework seems rather recent. It's like this was definitely carved in the last decade. Mm. So, so I, I point that out and go, why did you do that? For one who uh, seems so broken, you seem. Uh, th- I, th- this is evidence of, of a spark of the dwarf of old still within. And uh, with that, I, like I'll go up to him and put my one hand on his shoulder, and then uh, cr- grab the side of his face with my other hand, and you know make him look at me in the eye. 
and and uh, you know I gaze into his eyes and go inside of you I still see that dwarf you can bring it out you can you can earn back your honor after Andrew stepped in the door, he's been crying ever since. Shake. Right there. You're forward. Forward. Shake off this melancholy and this cowardice and go be the dwarf that you were meant to be. Make a colony of melons. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I could have <been> too. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I can't let something like that go. I let it go. Melo- you mean melancholy? <laughs> no, good. 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 Yeah, sorry. So he. Uh, <laughs> he he seems to to take you at your word, and you see a small change. Come on. Uh, come on. And, 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 and release his shoulder. And uh, and take a step back. I, uh, I speak a small word of power and release prejudice. Prejudice. That word, and clean him. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he stands up a little bit straighter. He's like, so what? Uh, you know, clearly, clearly, clearly changing this the, the subject. Um, Right, so, what are what are your questions about the the lions? What have they been up to lately? And uh, what do you know of their numbers? They uh, they seem to control the, the trade routes in and out. They get most of their uh, mo- most of their damn just now too, huh? Uh, Profits, if you will, from as they call them, road tariffs. And if you aren't interested in dealing with the tariff, then you typically get the sword, and you lose your goods. The numbers I marked them is two to three dozen. But the most interesting thing is their uh, new uh, new leadership doesn't doesn't come around often he seems to sneer at the uh, the makings of this town and from my experience I guess you would say he probably has dealings elsewhere and this is just one of those things on the side that he deals with for the minor profit. Do you know where they take their? Do you know where they take their spoils? Do they keep the profits of those tariffs here in town? It depends upon what the master wants. Hmm. Yeah, it's very, very fine clothes. Likes to dress in red. And when he <coughs> shows up here, I've, I've noticed a time or two that he comes unblazoned and realizes it and waves his hand and the lion appears on his breast. Hmm. Asen, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, they're doing that. He takes Blood him and says, let's pray. That's exactly what I was he's thinking. Praying, he takes his hand. Drop something gold in his hand. Okay. Hey, just bless your day. Blood cultus? How did you get that? It's dressed in red, red man. It's dressed in oh. red. <laughs> yeah, everything is red. I was all in the pretzels. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything's coming up blood cultist. <laughs> it, it also fits your theory that uh, there had to be, there might be a powerful mage or magic user to uh, get involved to the with Obsidian Lions. When's the last time this master was seen? I would have words with him. Um, maybe three, four weeks ago. How often does he deign to come around? He uh, usually here once a month, once a moon. So he's due back in near term. It seems so. Excellent. 
Perhaps we should go. He has not yet felt the ire of Clan Black Iron. Where does he use? Does he usually just stay at the guild? Does he come into town, to a particular bar? He, uh, it depends upon. Let's find the room that he usually uh, takes, and let and let's rent it out. <laughs> I was thinking, perhaps we should just go and make ourselves known across the town. It should not be terribly difficult. Find the route. Just go. <laughs> I think we already have. Exactly. I think we've accomplished that. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you really old pieces. <laughs> to answer your question, it really depends upon his, his mood. He seems very, very fickle. He's, he's taken up leadership over the past year, and there's some times that he deigns not to actually do much in town. Uh, he'll stop it at, at, at headquarters. And, uh, Temporary residence doesn't by chance coincide with the moon, does it? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that one off the table. Uh, we could do something unusual. We could sit and wait until he comes back and takes shifts. We don't usually do that, but we could try it. Well, we have, we have this guy can go scouting out to the lower levels. Well, the only reason questions. I say the only reason I haven't thought of that is we've we have tried that in the past where we go range in the countryside and it rarely works. Well, the dwarf said that they don't hang around here, so. But I mean, he's going to come back to. Collect the, his money. Yeah, and he's going to come back to the guild at some point. And he's been gone for three or four weeks, which means we might not have to wait that long. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is there, uh, near the guild, is there any taverns or inns? It's one close, but not not something that you could get or in a room. And, and either that, or let's just find a place and we'll rent it out. Like, yeah. we've got enough gold, we could pretty much buy anybody out. Like yeah. the house across the street? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Buy a place we can out. put them up at the end, <laughs> and then we will, you know, all the pence is paid, we'll take their house. That's a good idea. And it'll cost a gold. Yeah, yeah we, can like, get, we can give them more money. <laughs> yeah, here's a gold, I've overpaid you. Whatever, yeah. yeah. I like this plan. Uh, yeah. Uh, or we can so. even just stay with them if they're there. Maybe yeah. they'll cook for us. Well, sure. <laughs> we can always just go. Massage my feet. Uh, I got bunions.